These are beaten, broken souls. And yet our fortunes ride with them. Hello, hello, once again, one and all, we are back. It is time for more Unicorn Overlord, because this is just the demo that keeps on giving. My name is Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Leg Man, although you probably know that, and I'm sure you can probably tell I'm far less tired than when we streamed last night, seeing as how I got proper sleep, and we hadn't already streamed technically two times prior today, and it's earlier in the day, and I only had a half day of work, etc., etc., etc. Good to see you all here. Got 30 people already. Holy smokes. I'm glad that y'all are just as hyped for Unicorn Overlord as I am, man. Uh, who do we have in chat today? Lotud Guy Gaming Hideout, Omega Virtual 159, Tipu Kamu, Sphyxian, Caffeine System, Navi. Hello, hello. Good to see you all. Um, I'm glad to hear that we can get another timer by starting a new game. That is excellent. Definitely going to be doing plenty of that to farm footage and different things. Uh, Happies subscribed. Welcome, Happies. Thank you for joining us. Very good to have you. Uh, so surprised to see you not explore more. A lot you can get by just running around the enemies on the overworld. Uh, I've mainly just been trying to get the hang of, like, how different stratagems are going to work, how different tactics are going to work, and then just figuring out the game in general, you know? Can't wait to see Oush the Nuke in action. Yeah, I'm very excited. If you missed it last night... Uh, we ended on beating a really difficult mission with a group of mages who, A, had mages who were nasty, and then B, had this constantly respawning squad of three female soldiers who did a lot of damage, took way more hits than I expected, and then would also heal each other. It was pretty brutal. We finally figured it out in the end, but it took a little bit to get there. But yeah, now we got Aush, and we can recruit other wizards as well. We recruited one. And I'm excited to see how capable they are in our hands. The PSN demo come out yet tomorrow. It is out the 23rd for PS4, PS5, and the Xbox series. Um, I may very well do another stream uh, on the PS5 just to see how it feels, see how it plays. And then I'll probably be spending the majority of my time with that version of the demo, seeing as how like we're going to be playing on PS5 on launch. And I'll probably just get a save set up with one of the demo playthroughs that we do prior to release, and then just go from there, because like, there's going to be plenty of coverage of this prior to release, so I don't think we need to show the whole thing on release day again. Maybe. We'll see. With how long the demo is, we probably don't have to. Then we'll do that in future save files. You're getting the hang of the combat. It takes a while. Exactly. Exactly, Omega. Hey, <laughs> Caffeine saying hello, hello yourself, sir. Of course, of course. Glad to see me happy. Oh, I'm very happy, Navi. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited about this. Uh, how many hours of the demo you got left? Uh, we got about two, two and a half for this current run through. Is Extreme Difficulty particularly tough? Still deciding what difficulty to play. It got there last night. It hadn't been. And then we hit the mission with the mages. And I really had to stop and think about what I was doing and change some strategies around. Once we did that, it became way easier. But it was definitely a, uh, a knowledge game. We had to figure out what the game's systems could really do and make the most of it, which is good. I'm glad that that's actually something that you're able to do and not just have to figure out, like, cheesy strategies to get around stuff. Uh, Courtney, uh, 23rd, PlayStation uh, consoles and Xbox series. So tomorrow are getting the demo. I guess maybe it might depend where you are. Uh, I'm seeing in the U.S. it's the 23rd, but it could be different elsewhere. Go to Palavia from over your harbor. Shore Island of the Funny Quest might give you some nice resources. Okay, we will see what we can do. I don't think I have boat access anywhere yet. I haven't upgraded any of the towns to get it, but if we do. <laughs> Local streamer gets bullied by a mortal girl gang, more at 11. Seriously. Unfortunately, missed last stream, worked a close shift for the first time in over a year, and it kicked me in the nuts. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I'm glad that you're here now, though, Kathy. I was also closing last night. I just streamed after I closed. Got abused Joseph in extreme? Definitely. Absolutely. 
Which is good, because if you're comparing him to Jagan's from Fire Emblem, he is far and away the most powerful one ever. Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. Question, can you manually fight or is it automated fighting? Uh, it depends on how you look at it. So, the way I see it, it's very much like Fire Emblem in that you choose where your units move and who they attack and what weapons and strategies and everything they have, what abilities they have. But once you go into an individual fight, it plays out automatically. Much like in Fire Emblem, where it's like, alright, I'm going to send my Swordmaster over here to fight this warrior. Like, you're the one playing and choosing where they go, and then you just watch the animation play out and see where the damage numbers go. So, like... You don't control the squad targeting the other squad. They go based off of how you've got them set up. Was able to avoid using Joseph on Expert so he's not sucking up XP from units that needed it? He doesn't really, though. Like, all of your units still get plenty of XP. And you have a, more than enough unit slots to field everyone except for, like, one fight. And it makes it way, like, he makes it way easier for a squad of lower level units to actually like, clean up enemy squads and get kills and thus get XP than it would otherwise be. So I think it's a net positive to have him in a squad. Finished the demo on Tactical last night. Will not spoil. I appreciate it, Connor, but did, I'm assuming you enjoyed it, right? Much more control than an Ogre Battle. That's what I've heard, yeah. I've not yet played Ogre Battle myself. Just wanted to, uh, to know. Thank you. Of course. Of course. All right. Let's do this. Here's the game. We're loading in to the self-effacing sorcerer. Oh, wait. No. <clears throat> that was where I had saved previously. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yeah, so we've got two hours and 26 minutes left, and that does not count menu time. So now we have a bunch of different places we can go. We've got this mission here. However, it looks like we've got a rapport scene down here. Yes. Okay, well, we need to stabilize the area first. Uh, so, where can we go? Because we can definitely do this stage, and I'm inclined to. There's a couple of paths that we can go down as well. I don't think we necessarily need to. Let's just launch right into this stage, see if we get some more units. Then we can do some more exploration. Upon hearing the Zenoiran forces in Thalist are led by Travis's old friend Bruno, the Liberation sets off to discover why the man would serve those who brought his mercenary band to ruin. So much fun on a straight fire up in comparison. It feels a lot more user-friendly and interactive. I think they definitely... Like, Vanilla World did a really good job of taking aspects of... Tactics style games like FFT, Tactics Ogre, Ogre Battle games, and Fire Emblem, and putting them together while removing a this lot of the things that make it difficult. Bruno, was it? To get into. From my days with the Tricorns, yes. Massive guy with an even more massive heart. Tell me, Travis, what spurred you to desert your company? Wasn't my call, really. My sister just up and disbanded it one day. Said she was sick of the light wages and the heavy baggage. Oh, yes, Fixian, that's right. Caffeine should have some smoked nuts, that's true. It'll get her stamina right back up. Baggage? What did she mean by that? Oh, I'm so excited to play more. Me, apparently. My incompetence was single-handedly dragging the entire operation through the dust. Her words, not mine. Like, I'm going to Im want to immediately start another demo playthrough and just mess with stuff, but I also need to start working on videos, so I'm going to be very conflicted tonight. <laughs> like, maybe maybe what I'll do is I'll work on some video stuff uh, on stream with you guys, because I want to start doing a, uh, like, beginner units breakdown and comparison video. I want to do an early game classes breakdown and comparison guide. I want to do a first impressions video. I want to start putting a tips video together. I don't think I'll post the tips video until the full release is out, because I'm sure there's plenty of people who aren't going to play until the full release. So it'll be better to put it out, like, day of or the day after. But there are definitely videos I want to start putting out. Absolutely. So I saw Red and stormed off for good. It was all I could do not to scream. Turns out sometime after I left, Bruno took the reins and got the tribe. Hey, Violent Habits, what's up? Again. Been a while. Good Hence to see you. Still endure. 
despite your sister's best attempts to disband. Push comes to shove, though, Bruno would never join arms with Galerius. Not by choice. He was long tired of living by someone else's creed. Even when we first formed the Tricorns, he craved independence over all else. Uh, to answer your question, Papa Beartick, it's... I'm hearing reports that people think that it ends after you rescue Scarlet, but it seems like the vast majority of people are running up at the end of the timer before they find the end of the demo content, which is wild. So I'll talk to him. Man to hulking man. <laughs> I need to see for myself what fashioned him a mere dog in Zenoira's lap. Actually having some of the cookies my sister sent me for my birthday for breakfast. Hey! Well, there you go. Happy belated birthday, I suppose. Unless it's, like, coming up soon? Happy birthday regardless. Might edit the save and see what I can find. Hell yeah. Hey, there he is! The big boy himself! That man there is Bruno, yes? Yep. I could pick his hulking frame out from miles away. Have to wonder, though, what's he doing siding with Zenoira? The Bruno I know wouldn't even consider it. You can ask him yourself once we've reached his camp. Now then, we march at once. Alright, here we go. First time fighting gladiators. We're going to see how this shakes out. We're going to want to make sure that we don't have all three spots in a particular column, or a particular row filled, because they're going to AoE us down. Demo on PS5 yet, or still just Switch? Uh, depending on where you are in the world, it's out on PS5 today or tomorrow. Play the demo, could not stop playing until my time ran out. I have one burning question for you, though. Does putting characters in the front or back row do anything other than enemy targeting? Um, it does seem to primarily be enemy targeting. There's some theor theory crafting that it might impact damage. I have to experiment with that more. Um, but primarily, it does just seem to be targeting at the moment. Hey, thanks, man. It just passed. Well, guys, we've got 77 damn people in this stream right now. Let's not game. <laughs> uh, yes, I understand, Joseph. I just put my controller down and the game decided that it was time to go. Uh, we've got 77 people in the stream right now. I know you're not all in chat, but can we get a round of happy birthdays for Caffeine System, one of our extremely friendly mods and one of just the most stellar members of the community we've ever seen? Because she deserves it, damn it. Especially after working a close last night and getting her nuts kicked, apparently. <laughs> So, very, very happy birthday, Caffey, and I hope it was a good one for you. Yes, we're going to deploy, Joseph. Thank you. Trixie, shoot, get. <laughs> Trixie knocking things over on the table. All right. So, we've got three Valor Points and four squads we can deploy. We've got one Gladiator squad coming out. That's definitely going to be a job for Hector's unit here. We're going to see how our... Something see how our mages work and then I want to bring out Aush's unit as well for the cover fire the moment has finally come. we'll hold back on Joseph's unit for now we'll build some valor points then send him out hey there we go there's all the happy birthdays rolling in <laughs> Can we for you to experiment with squads and optimize damage? Oh, for sure, Tipu, for sure. In Ogre Battle 64, front or back rank change which abilities unit would use, and UO does it change any of their strats? It does not seem like it does, no, because you can set all the priorities yourself. So, like, you can just have a frontline healer if you wanted to for some reason. You can have a backline axe wielder. That's where I've got Albin in Joseph's squad, and he still does all of his normal melee attacks like you would expect, so... It hasn't changed anything in that regard that we've seen. There might be skills that you can only use in the front or the back, but if there are, we have not yet encountered those. But I'm not ruling it out. There's going to be so much to see. Difficulties change XP gain. Uh, I don't know. We've only played on Expert. We've gotten a decent amount of XP, though. Um, can anyone confirm if they experimented between difficulties to see what XP gains are like? All right. Olgan is playing Hades. Doing that yesterday, too. Alright. So it's looking like we should be in pretty decent shape here, safety-wise. We're going to have a backup attack from Aush's squad. Yep. yep. We march. Let's see how this goes. Been waiting for this. You'd best make this count. Yep, there's the magical assist. And it looks like 
It looks like we're going to absorb all the damage, so let's watch. Nice. Okay, there's the self heal. Look at the size of these lads. Jesus. <laughs> oh, yeah, mages are good. Oh, mages are real good. Are you okay? Nice. Okay. Yeah, the addition of a mage to the Hodrick squad was definitely the right call. Holy smokes. Pretty sure only difficulty difference is enemy stats. I think it might affect the timer as well. I think you do get less time on expert. I don't know that for certain, but... Wait until you open up the Gambit type commands. This game has so much. Oh, I know. I've messed with them already a bit. All right. This is a good opportunity for Aush's squad to move in. Of course. And then we'll have Elaine's squad come in from the side here. Okay, we've actually got no the House way. Carl squad first. We'll just we'll just let Hector's unit go. Wizards are busted. You're gonna You're gonna something. Probably burn. Boom. Beautiful. Yeah, we're causing problems for these lads now. Alright, let's get Lex's squad in here. Or, well, Aush's squad now. Boom. Lex with the magic attack, man. That has been a very good choice, I have to say. If you don't name one of these guys Big Chungus, it's a crime. Conator, we learned that you can't choose what name you give generics. Like, you can't name them yourself. You only have a list of, like, pre-made names you can choose from. It's such a shame. Unless that's only a demo thing, but I get the feeling that that's just hopium. It's definitely one of my biggest disappointments. I'm going to have to let people know that, like... They're not going to be able to give me a custom name when they have me make a character for them. Uh, they're going to have to select from the list, which I'm going to have to get like written down and post to people. It's a real shame. You'd, like the color customization and like class choices, growth rates, all of that is really robust. But yeah, I can't choose a name, which sucks. What are we doing? We march. I'm assuming to it's me. because they don't want you to have like weird, obscene names for online play, you but. Face me. It still feels like a pretty weak excuse, if so. Demo time ticked during dialogue. I don't know. I know it doesn't during menus, but that's all that I know. How did the assist happen being close to another unit? Yes, you need to be a ranged unit and be within the assist range. So it's this blue circle here that you can see. All right, we've got a triple soldier squad coming up. That is probably going to be... Hector's turn to deal with. What do you need? Actually, honestly, we're just going to grab all three and move them together I'll as a clump. Because then we can choose who we now want to engage. Your villainy ends no holding back. Bold of you to stand against me. Hmm. 20 damage total. If they all manage to hit Aush, he won't die. But that is a lot of damage. You Let's go over here. This is safer. Let me help. Plus, we can toss, toss in the magical assist. I was going to make my family crest with the Irish flag colors, but I assume that can't happen in the demo. Um, you can make your crest, and I think there's a good selection of color options, so it's probably feasible. God, I love the fireball spell. You'll be okay. I'd be interested to see what do not recruit options do for certain characters. Yeah, we're going to be experimenting with that uh, the next time I play through the demo on PS5. It's nice, too, that the assist character gets some XP. That's a very nice detail. Note as well, one of the balancing features of Wizards, low stamina. Let me write that down, actually, which makes sense. Um, so a squad led by a wizard, you get the really good magical assist and everything, and they do good damage, but you're going to have to contend with the fact that they have lower stamina than other classes. 
And if you want to try and change the leader mid-fight to get more stamina or mid-battle, you're going to have to spend Valor to do it. So, Wizards... For those of you who don't know, I have a little notebook here. Uh, I didn't jot anything down in the second stream last night, but I've been jotting down notes that I want to talk about uh, or things to keep in mind for myself because there's just so much. So if you see me not moving, like muttering to myself, it's because I'm writing something down. Wizards equal high damage. Payoff, or uh, trade-off, not payoff, trade-off. Low stam. And the stamina system is very, very important to pay attention to, especially on extreme where it can be pretty difficult to one round a squad. So you can find your units getting tuckered out really fast, and you have to accommodate for that. What do you want? As you directed. Get in there, Elaine. Finish him off. We're gonna have reinforcements coming you out on the left. Me. I'm assuming it's another soldier squad. We'll see. When is Unicorn Overlord coming out? Is there info of if it will come to Game Pass? Um, it is out the 8th of March. No information about Game Pass. I'm assuming not. There's always more to learn. Nice. HP, physical attack, accuracy, and evasion. Very nice, very nice. Damage dealt thing at the start of battle, the actual amount, or just an estimate? It seems like an estimate. It can be a little bit hard to read sometimes because it doesn't account for certain things. Uh, there's definitely times where I thought I was in a more secure position than I was because of something that happened, and then the estimate wasn't accurate anymore. Couldn't change the flag color itself. Oh! Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Understood. What are we doing? I'm going. I'll make my mark. Of course. Now, the fun thing is, if you have two squads in proximity that have ranged assists, you can use both assists. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm listening. So You got orders for me? Yeah, you. Yep. The time is at hand. Onward. They should Where be the hell? It. Where are they going? The path is set. Intercept. There we go. <laughs> Were they like, trying to get around me to the outpost Careful. or something? No holding back. You'd best make this count. Every diff any difference between male and female soldiers, assuming just for variety. Uh, it just seems to be cosmetic, yeah. Only certain classes seem to have, um, like, both gendered options. There are certain things that we've seen that have only been male or only been female, but, again, we're very early in, so no guarantee on that. Oh, uh, magical range assist. Oh, they do. They do. Okay. Good call on that. Magical slash ranged assists do take stamina points as well. Good call. Now, the reason that that's still okay is if you have someone garrisoned somewhere, they don't use stamina to fight, and they won't use stamina to use assists, so you can just sit there and have them spam assists all day every day if you're fighting in range of their garrison. Oh, yes. Yeah, as Prototype said. You know how class functions work on promotion? Not much. I've not had the chance to experiment with promotions at all yet. The time is at hand. To me. About time. Be there before you know it. All right, so we've got a squad coming up from the south. A lane me. squad can take these guys out, and then we have to go take out the guys in the town. Nice. I watched the entire initial stream. Does Scarlet become unavailable for a while due to plot reasons? Yes. Well fought. Yes, that is 100% plot reasons. We march. All right. So now it doesn't look like we're going to deal a lot of damage here, but the benefit is we're going to have both of our mage squads yeah. the time is at assist. Hand. So it's going to be actually a lot more damage than it looks like. Also, all right, they've garrisoned the bridge. You'll note we have a Valor point, which means we can bring out Joseph's unit to bring up the rear the and cover. The royal what would you ask? By your word. All right. Your villainy ends here. So yes, and now. Let me help. Interesting. You'd best make this Let count. Me help you. 
why is the damage that we're taking increasing as we're dealing damage to them? That is interesting. Uh, Wide Smash deals more damage if they're at 100% HP, which they won't be. Unless it's because of bulk up? Okay, we're gonna do this because we'll still be dealing more damage than we would have been. I'm just curious to see why this is happening. Hmm. Assist reroll the RNG so it alters the combat forecast. Really? Let me help. I don't know I if that's you. what's at play here, but we'll, we'll see. Let's see. So now he's not going to be able to heal. Interesting. Huh. Uh, I can't move. Doing damage to the enemy with assist changes how your gambits interact. Can you kill or not kill enemies because of targeting? Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yep. Thank you, Leaf, and also thank you for the super chat. Very much appreciated. Um. Yeah, we're gonna just jot that down. Gambits, change targeting due to assists. Good thing to keep in mind. Very good thing to keep in mind. Cool. So these guys both need? need to rest now. What are we doing? <coughs> Excuse me. These guys are now being forced to heal, so we're not getting reinforcements out. March. Um, we're definitely oh, gonna have fail. Joseph's unit come in, very well, and pick these guys off, and then Elaine's unit can garrison and start healing. Time's at hand. We march to make good. Alright, was this a House Carl squad? Okay, that's fine. Easy peasy. Gaze upon the face of your demise. Bulk up didn't activate because Thief stole PP, so he attacked you instead of equals more damage. But that would have happened even without the assist. Well, there's attack low stage HP enemy options, so you can force fire weaken enemies. There is, there is. We don't have it set on everyone yet, because we're kind of experimenting with stuff, first. but. Okay, there we go. The super chat finally popped. Jeez. How accurate are battle projections? Uh, it's very reliant on actually hitting. Like, it doesn't account for any missed attacks. So it's kind of like a optimal scenario thing, but you can't trust it fully. I have you. Just keep getting tougher. Hell yeah, Albin. For the liberation. All right, good. So now Elaine can garrison here. Set. What would you ask? Joseph's As squad you can come over here to cover our sleepy boys. Awaiting your command. And he's gonna well. blow them up. Careful, Elaine. We've got a Griffin Knight up ahead. Flying units like them are real good at dodging attacks from the ground. He's right, Your Highness. Cavalry such as me are also quite susceptible to aerial attacks, so I suggest you avoid pitting us against flying units if possible. Nothing a couple of arrows can't fix, though, assuming we've got an archer to shoot them. Okay. So we'll definitely be doing that, obviously. We just gotta wait for Elaine's unit to rest up. This one's all yours, Rolf. Exactly. 
Hey, Curtis. Hello, hello. How you doing? Come. Isn't the limit four hours? It's five hours technically, but that only starts once you get out of like the tutorial and prologue, and it also doesn't tick down during menus, so it's functionally more like seven and a half. I've not chosen my grave yet. For the liberation. Okay, good. Get some stamina back. The Liberation Army, you say? Ha! Ah, we're saved! Be warned, though, Bruno is a vicious man and a cruel commander. I have a feeling you'll need this. Smoked nuts, hell yeah. By the way, you must be exhausted from all this fighting. You're more than welcome to stay in town if you need of a rest. Garrison effects healing, okay. So we get stamina and HP back at fixed intervals, we kind of already figured that out. This will also revive incapacitated members of the unit, so consider garrisoning, or garrisoning when battle grows dire. Oh, now that we did not know. Hmm. Very, very, very interesting. Okay. Well, I may as well have Joseph go scoop of this item. Oh, shit, 4,000 war funds. Okay, nice. Command, your Highness. Awaiting your command. Now, of course, because it's Joseph's unit, even though it's two cavalry, we're still in a good position here, so we're going to just try this and see. We haven't fought flying units As yet. Alright, our mages are up. I shall hold nothing back. Let's see. Okay. So, yeah, hit rate, very bad against these guys. But, we can still deal full damage to them. Whew. Alright. It's like the most damage we've ever seen Joseph take in an attack. Alright, still not terrible. God, the fact that the Griffin Knights can heal themselves is insane. Well, this demo so much. Are you enjoying it? Oh, I am adoring it, Lionel. Absolutely adoring it. So much. Now, I'm assuming that mages don't get any get bonus right, accuracy me. here, but we're going to see. Yeah, it doesn't look great. Yeah, plus Griffin Knights have good magic resist, I just remembered, so. Be there before you know it. Okay. We Let's get a lane squad out here, because they'll Onward. deal with it no problem. I'll not fail you. And while we're doing that, since we've got the squad running up, we'll have Joseph's squad rest. That's something else that's a good limiting factor about Joseph. He only has five stamina, so running him at the front of the squad does mean that, like, if you're Made using it. him a lot, he's going it to need to I've heal arrived. up regularly. You face me. Well, not heal up, but rest up. All right. Uh, assuming that there's no reason that we shouldn't win this, like, perfectly fine. Because Elaine should block. Rolf should get the guaranteed shot. It'll be a guaranteed crit. Yeah, we should be good here. Did you go north of the wizards? I have not yet, no. The griffins are going to be annoying enemies. Yes, they are. They're going to be like super soldiers. However. Nice. Good job, team. Didn't even need Rolf. <laughs> Ice Coffee Gaming keeps recruiting griffin knights and struggling to make them work. Really, really. Interesting. Victory grows ever closer. Nice. So now, are we going to get to the garrison before he is? The path is set. I'll see what I can do. No, but come then. We're definitely going to beat. Oh. Thieves are interesting to me because I'm like. They seem like very one-trick ponies at the moment. Good. Okay. So... Hmm. 
Well, they're going to be pretty easy to bring down. We're not going to get a stamina restoration from garrisoning the bridge. We've got a gladiator squad coming up from the south. All right. Time is at hand. We're gonna take the bridge. To Tis ours now. Very good. We're now garrison. We've got our mages As in support direct. position, and we don't lose stamina here. So lane squad is just gonna duke it out you with both of these me. guys. Find out about names for characters yet? Is just something appealing to a major thief named Ungifted? Uh, yeah, we found out that they're at least in the demo. You cannot choose the names for your units. Uh, or, like, you can't create custom ones. There's a big list of names you can pick from, but you cannot name them yourself, which is extremely disappointing. What would you ask? Right, Joseph's Very ready well. to go. I have arrived. God, there's a lot of reinforcements coming in. All right. Your villainy ends here. Let me help you. You'd best make this count. We'll light this guy up, then a lane squad will finish him off, and we'll push through. We'll probably have Joseph move bottom right to take that outpost, and then have everyone else move down to the southwest together. We got a tower down here too. By your word. <clears throat> Onward. Of course. Alright, that's Come these down. dudes finished. Did you guy hand or hand the guy over to the city guard to let him go? We handed him over and then he broke out. In fact, what we'll probably do is we'll have Joseph take the tower, and then we'll put one of our mages in the tower and take the fort with these three while Elaine holds the bridge. We march. Yeah, the way the bridge, lads. There you go. The path is set. Yep. As expected. What would you ask? As you wish. Good. Be there before you. This should be it. Yeah, Lane Squad has the bridge on lock, no problem. Crew to Griffin Knight 2, Center Growth Rate's favorite evasion named her Ingrid in honor of FE3H. Hey, there you go. Did you recruit all the characters, you get a uh, little cutscene saying that you did so. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Every time he says that, I just think, on my honor as the Dawn Spear. <laughs> I'll not fail you. Very well. Bad time. Yes, I concur. Come. We'll bring these Griffin Knights down just through sheer force of will. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Did you just drop a triangle strategy reference? Of course I did. Triangle strategy is phenomenal. The battle is won. What would you ask? Once more with feeling. As you wish. Your villainy ends here. Yeah, that's not going to be a problem at all. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with where our squads are set up at the moment. Triangle strategy was terrible. <laughs> incorrect, sir. You are vastly incorrect. Sorry if you didn't like it, but no. Triangle strategy is a phenomenal game. Good. 
Tactics Ogre is also feeling him. You are correct. I am with you. Nice. Griffin's down. What a joke, she says. Oh, sorry that the RNG didn't favor you on that one, ma'am. Awaiting your command. By your word. Okay, garrison that. I have taken it as our Get the stamina. Very good. Now, roll back out. As you wish. We'll have these lads take these guys yep. out. And probably the gladiator as well. You face me. Have heard anything about Triangle Strategy 2? No. There's been no information about that from anything I've heard. I like the animation from the gladiators keel over. Like, they're still mountainous even when they're laying on the ground. The time is at hand. Alright, so now you need to rest. Oh wait, yeah. Grab this item. Good. Shall make proper use Liquid fortune. I'll not fail you. Interesting. As you wish. Defeat will soon be upon us. Uh, yeah, no, we're definitely Chains not letting Elaine fight, fight that. Are you kidding sec. me? Ever tried Sif uh, Symphony War the Nephilim Saga? Yes. I got it on release. Intended to do content of it. Tested it out to try it, got obsessed, okay? and burned through it in three days. <laughs> Course we won. Not even worth bragging over. All right. So now we've got this gladiator man moving in. Elaine is resting. I'll make my mark. We're gonna have Aush do, do some damage here. Careful, you make it burnt. We don't even need the magical assist here. Yeah, the double magic attack from these boys. Pretty brutal. Can you change the dubbing to Japanese? You can, you can. You got orders for me? I'm going. What do you need? Yes, I concur. No right, this is an easy win, so we're just gonna skip through that. Boom, done. Never stood a chance. Yeah, having wizards for this fight makes life easy and breezy. Be there before you know it. Ausch's squad is going to have to rest. To earn some That's all right. Joseph's going to get in there. Ausch is insane. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have I proven myself yet? I think when he stubs his toe, he says, Ausch, probably. That or he says, Mother. I'll make my mark. What would you ask? By your word. What are we doing? Going to get all these lads fueled up and ready to go. I shall hold Done. nothing back. For the liberation. Awaiting your command as you wish. Gaze upon the face of your demise. I've not chosen my grave yet. Beautiful. I'll not fail to take the bridge. Well. we'll hold Hoist it so we don't lose stamina. We're gonna have another set of reinforcements coming out from Bruno in a second. Alright. March. Go. We're at a little over half time. Joseph's squad is gonna crush these dudes. Time is with us. Should we only keep our focus? The wizard boys are on the move. This is just instant Come death on. for these gladiators. They don't stand a ghost of a chance. Is it difficult getting Ouch early? It definitely was. For the liberation. Um but once we figured out our strategies, it wasn't too bad. We needed to actually, like, figure out how to deal with the waves of soldier reinforcements that just what kept sending ask? at us. I'll not fail you. Now let's force them to start As healing. Now oh, wait, you know what? Awaiting you Grab the well. item first. There we go. Mm -hmm. Revival orb. Nice. Alright, now go. Word. And then everyone else... 
move in to rush him down. I'm going. Lex needs a dad to tell him he's doing a good job or something. Oh, for sure. Long time no talk, Bruno. No, I didn't exactly leave on good terms, but... But what? Never seen you before in my life. Come on, this isn't the time for jokes. You see me laughing. Now enough of this or I'll cut you down where you stand. Looks like he's really working for Zenoira then. I'm not certain that's all there is to it. So, we have another brainwashed unit. Got back. it, got it. Six status effect strat is set them all to attack highest HP and then everyone explodes on their own before they can attack. Well, <laughs> Resource points ever respawn as they're locked in the demo to prevent you from doing too many deliveries. I've heard it does respawn, but it takes a long time. Alright, I actually picked a pretty good voice for this guy. Was that the actual dub voice acting? No, that was me. I'm not sure if that's you're asking because it was good or terrible. <laughs> good stun. Very good damage. Very, very good damage. I love this squad. Thought it all sounded like the same guy. Yeah, that's because it was me. <laughs> nice. Beautiful damage. Battle theme goes insanely hard. Oh, yeah. Five is a monster. So is Albin, man. And Joseph. Like, this squad. Absolutely brutal. And again, people talk about, like, well, you don't want Joseph to take the XP. Joseph is power leveling these guys right now. Like, he's able to get them so much XP, and as two of the more powerful units in the army right now, that's phenomenal. I'll not fail you. Okay, so we we're not going to have well. Joseph do this. We're going to have Elaine come in. Onward. We're going to have the mage boys get set up in firing positions. I am yours to command, Your Highness. What would you ask? And then once they're in position... We're going to have Elaine's unit do his thing. We Actually, we can start using some Valor skills, too. Use Arrow Rain. Arrow Rain won't kill, right? Let's find out. No. Okay. So now, though, with the Mage Boys in position... That should be enough. We're going to find out. Time is at hand. Let's give ourselves the Royal Order so we get some bonus XP. Stronger than ever. We march. And actually, just to make hand. it more secure. Oh, wait. Liquid Fortune doubles XP and gold gained by the user's unit for 20 seconds? Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. All right. So here, we're going to save really quick. Because I want to see if we're actually going to get the kill here. And if we do, with the Liquid Fortune and the XP boost from our Valor skill, just how bonkers things get. We march. Time is at hand. The path is set. Okay. Your villainy ends here. I got gotcha. Let me help. Oh my god, it's not gonna be enough. Okay. I wanna see how much we get from this for the sake of experimentation. Actually, wait, how do we. Ah, there we are. Jake and Money Making Machine go burr seriously. There is time yet to claim victory. All right. We march. So You got orders for me? What do you need? 
Yikes. Worth it though. I'll see what I can. The time is at hand. To me. Now then. What do you want now? Alright, let's I weaken them. Point yet again. Holy mama. It's alright. Lex went down, but that's fine because there's no permadeath, baby. Now. Yeah, here we go. Path is set. Oh, we got him just before the heal. You face me. Just me... before it. All right, let's do this. What the hell happened to you, Bruno? I don't know what you're talking about, but I won't hear another word of it. Oh, hell. See you, bud. I love his like, oh god, face. Oh. That was me yesterday when they announced the demo. What do you mean the demo's coming out today? Alright. Big XP and we got a bunch of money as well. Cool. Keep getting sharper. The fine bout. Beautiful. Brown beret. Physical attack plus eight percent. Alright, cool. I'll take that. Maybe she's been brainwashed you have to fight your own mom. I've been wondering about that, Caffeine. I think that might be very possible. I think it's extremely sus that she didn't die on screen. Yeah? Uh, PS5 demo taken down. Uh, I don't think it was even put up yet. I heard that it's going up the 23rd. World Order and Commander uh, Killing Blow is absolutely insane XP. Oh, yeah. Nice. Another squad upgrade. Hodrick survived exactly. They all survived. I'll handle this. That whole squad, except maybe the like soldier guy. You've taken quite the fall from grace, big guy. But I know you wouldn't fly Zenora's colors without good reason. So come on, out with it. Careless fool. <laughs> Ooh. Keep your distance. There's something I wish to try. I love how dynamic some of these cutscenes are, man. Like, they do such a good job. Like, the, the cutscene in the church, when Scarlet is under attack and she's, like, fighting off the bandits, and then just Elaine comes in from off screen, not as swift as I, and just cuts a man down in the course of a second. It was like, oh, oh, damn. It was vicious. Travis? There you go. Interesting that he didn't have any memories, because Hodrick did. Last I remember, I was burying my axe in some lousy Zenoyer and neck. Past that, it's all smoke. Figures the bastards got their hooks sunk in me. You've got no choice but to even the score, then. They take a finger, you take the whole damn hand. I like these Talon mercenary guys, they're cool. Join us, Bruno. Spill their blood under the Liberation's banner. And rub shoulders with the rat who left me in the cold? Quit kidding yourself. Days gone, you and me could have had a real go at it, even without your sister leading the charge. But now, I don't even want to look at you. Bruno, I... What's all this about dissolving the company, Ren? You can't be serious. Serious as ah, Berengaria! She's the sister! Like okay. Look your thick skull, Travis. I'm done dragging your dead weight around for good. Jacked mercenary oh. girl. We've seen her in the preview she material. She me aside like it was nothing. So I left. Wasn't interested in clipping anyone else's wings, you know? Very interesting. Very, very what? interesting. That's supposed to make me forgive you? You dumped us in a ditch when we needed you most, Travis. If only you knew the kind of dirt we ate crawling out. You've got the right of it. I'm in no position to ask favors after what I did. I really like these characters thus far, man. Like, they've all been simple, but the writing is good. The voice acting is very strong. Like, I like them all, man. 
But the truth is, those days we spent playing the fool were some of the best I've ever had. I'm sorry, Bruno. I hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. This music is so good, too. Hold it. Just what do you mean, playing the fool? Oh my God, he sounds so heavy. Brained ideas like they was yesterday's lunch. Harsh words from the man who thinks hatching a plan means a trip to the chicken coop. Uh, Miss this something fierce, you know. Maybe I wouldn't mind giving the old tricorns one last hurrah after all. I like too that Bruno's not just like a complete dumbass. Because I looked at him, and when we first saw him in the preview material, I compared him to Gonzalez from FE6, right? Because he obviously has that look about him. But he just seems like a normal dude who just happens to be absolutely fuck off huge. We have to read these archive entries too. Hey, Canadia's here. Hello. Very nice. Another stage down as the tricorns ride. I'm assuming we just have Bruno now, right? Like, it didn't give us an option to try and recruit him, but... Recruit Short Sword, Light Feather, and Tricorn Mercenaries. 15 Renown, very nice. Oh yeah, here we go, okay. Elaine, yeah? Thanks for having me. Hey, there we go. Cool. Gladiator. Gladiators are powerful warriors capable of hitting an entire row of enemies with a single swing. Gladiator's high HP lets them bear enemy attacks in the front row, while the soldier can heal them using their first aid skill. Very true. Very nice. Okay, so, um, divine shard. We haven't seen what we can do with those yet. We just know you can exchange them for items, apparently. Oh, I know where we are. This is where we saw some of the preview material. Lex went into that tower. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. What? Oh, doesn't look like anyone's used this watchtower in quite some time. There's some equipment in here too. Eh, might as well take it. Oh! There's actual camping sets! I've been wondering about this. Hold on. Revives incapacitated allied units in range, granting them 30 HP and 2 stamina. Oh, cool! Very cool. I like it. It'd be kind of funny if Bruno spoke like an Ogryn from 40k. Oh, that would be nice. We're just simple as. <laughs> Articulate slash smart characters who are also absolute units are so good. I agree, Caffeine. I agree. It was also story locked. Still had 30 minutes left, give or take, when I reached a certain point in the story, but I really rushed. Okay, what point did you hit, Gabriel? Because I've seen at least one person in chat say they got Scarlet back and still had, uh, or then got cut off because they ran out of time. So you can get her back. How much further past that point can you go? Yeah, Dominic, I wish it was on PC as well. That'd be nice. Light Feather doubles the mobility of an allied unit for 30 seconds. Okay. Some of these combat items that are timed but give really good effects are really nice as well. I'm really, really excited by that. Very unique types of consumables because of the way the game is set up. Wind Fairy's Charm. All right. Oh, cool. We have a fort over here. Nice. Uh, so, expand units. We could get another unit slot. But I think I'd rather make this unit bigger. Yeah, definitely. Who can we hire here? We've got a soldier, a gladiator, and then a griffin knight. I want to gry or to gry. I want to try a griffin knight squad. So we're gonna save and get two more honors, and then we'll get her. Don't use the camping set unless you really need it. It costs 15k at the shop. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, I can totally see why. All right, slap Bruno in here for now. Now, what do you have going on, sir? Barrier breaker. Can break gates and barricades more easily. All right, we haven't encountered that for ourselves yet, but we have seen it in the pre-release material. Got wide smash, bulk up, the bronze axe. We're going to give him the brown beret to boost his attack. 
Wide counter. Activates after an enemy attacks with an active skill. Counter attacks a row of enemies. Okay, interesting. Pretty simple class. If this is the only skill that they learn, they're going to be really reliant on getting uh, equipment that gives them skills. Scarlet rescues the end. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Scarlet Rescue Mission's perfect ending for the demo. Okay, cool. Looking forward to the 3X Soldier Death Squad. That's absolutely something we're going to be doing, Shoggoth Hat. Absolutely. All right, I'm happy with our mage squads for now, so we're going to keep doing that. Let's see what's going on up here at town and also this rapport scene. Elaine and Travis. All right, here we go. I, I assumed it would be voice acted, so I muted my mic, but... <clears throat> Tis a surprise to find you buried in a nice book, Travis. Oh, yeah? yeah reading's actually one of my favorite hobbies, I'll have you know. That's a little harder to keep up with nowadays. We used to have a huge library back home, filled floor to ceiling with any book you could ever want. Though, it's all gone now. Thanks to Zenoira. So, okay, which part of his hair do you think has died? Is it the gray part in the front, or is it the whole back of his head that's purple? Because it's definitely one or the other. Let me know what you think, chat. I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, don't be. You've lost everything in this war, too. And we're not the only ones. Just about the whole continent's been through the same ordeal. That's why it's so important we take back what's ours and get rid of Zenoira once and for all. Uh, right you are. And by the way, what is it that you're reading there? Eh, yeah, caught your eye, did it? Tis only natural. Books have become quite a precious commodity given the death of scribes, or the dearth of scribes operating in our lands, I should say. Not the death of scribes. Zenoira hasn't resorted to hanging and quartering writers yet. Wouldn't be surprised if they did. I would love to read if my, or read it myself once you're finished. Huh. Didn't realize you even knew how. It is entirely thanks to Joseph's mentorship, of course. I should at least remember well enough to manage. Interesting that, like, it's not just a given that Elaine can read. He's the hero and he's the prince. And, like, yeah, he was raised by Joseph, not, like, in the capital. But it's not very often that you see a protagonist that is, like... I can read. Maybe I'll remember well enough to make sense of it. Like, that's that's interesting. That's a cool little touch. Then here, I'll let you have it now. Practically know this one by heart anyway. Just let me know if there's anything you're having trouble understanding. My thanks, Travis. Anytime. I'll be looking forward to hearing what you think of it. All right. Honors times two. Very nice. Very cool. Uh, so, town. What deliveries do we have? Cornut lumber we can turn in, and iron ore. Interesting. Let's do both. Very good. So we have enough honors to get the griffin knight now. Okay. And now we have a star on the town, so... Yes! Okay. Thanks to you, sir. I managed to fix the hole in me roof. Damned catapults. Anyway, the whole town looks good as new. Thanks again. Very nice. Okay. So we get renowned for that, too. Very good. Very good. New set of deliveries. Excellent. Let me jot that down. Get renown. When upgrading... Town. Towns have levels of repair and deliveries. There's so many people to recruit in this, you'll miss out people on the first try. That's what I've heard, yeah. I'm Elaine, 15, and I never fucking learned how to read. <laughs> it would have been kind of good, TBH. Oh, yeah. 
Say it's all in the lighting. Technically, an anime character's build color is probably natural. Fair, fair. Fluff, I agree. Demo already made me love the game easily. Okay, so we can station a guard here. I'm not going to worry about that. Actually, no, wait, I forgot. You can bring guards with you in your fights. Station a single member of your army in each town you've liberated to serve as its guard. Upon completing a battle stage, your guard will earn gold for the army and gather materials from previously discovered nearby foraging sites. Oh, that's so good. That way you don't have to constantly run back through areas and pick stuff up. That's huge. Tommy, you son of a gun, how long have you been live? Uh, about an hour, Quentin. So, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Back in the Age of Swords, reading comprehension was quite limited. That's true. But, I mean, it makes sense as, like, a noble scion that he'd be taught how to read. Are there battles on the sea? We're going to find out. Characters serving as guards can still be deployed in battle stages, so feel free to post them in every town you liberate. That is super cool. Lex, this is your post now. Now, it's as far as the after, armor, you're in the right place. Another Viper Fang, Warriors Medallion, plus two physical attack, plus ten percent physical attack, and plus ten percent critical rate. Okay, Albin, hello. Recruits Hand Axe or Bruno as well. Couple of recruits, short spears. Yeah. Okay. This absolutely. Done and done. It seems like there's typically like one rare piece of equipment per town. So being able to get those is going to be very valuable, like the magic sword that we have. This would be really helpful for some of the fights up ahead. Kind of wish I got him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm super happy that I have wizards. Done and done. Done and done. Done and done. Done and done. And getting recruit gear early is going to be so important as well. The fact that it gives bonus XP is insane. Okay. Yeah, I, I know. I'm not trying to equip multiple of the same item. Thank you. Now, let's sell some of our old stuff quick. The Viper's Fang, I haven't really had a reason to use yet. Oh, whoops. We had a recruit shortbow before. Oh, whoopsie. Careful. You walk out, it's gonna be seeing you. Here to shop? Or maybe to sell? Just say hmm. the word and it's yours. We'll get one revival tonic. And that's that. Thank you very much. Come back soon. I adore games where there's enough freedom that people can have wildly different experiences between major plot points. Yeah, man, like Elden Ring. Which, speaking of which, Shadow of the Erd Tree, man. Cannot wait to stream that on release. German says, Hi, Tom. Glad to see you enjoying the game. Absolutely, German. I adore every second of it. I can't wait to start making videos. I think we're going to finish this run of the demo, and then I'm going to start working on videos today. Uh, and then tomorrow is my first day off in the last nine days. So we'll either do another stream playing the demo on PS5, or I'll do more videos or something. I'm not sure. All right. Travel to Secluded Shore. Yes. You. I'm curious about this. Viper Fang, great on Travis. Yeah, I can see it, but... Oh. Overworld Quest, the local guardsman. Completed. Cool. I figured we would have to go back and talk to the NPC that we got that from, but I guess not. Awesome. Um, the thing with Viper Fang is, like, I really feel like you want your thieves to be doing the steal PP and evade thing. At least that's how I'm using Travis thus far. So, switching his attack and poisoning has not been high on my list of things to do. 
Let me respond to Jane really quick. She just texted me. That DLC looks amazing. Oh, dude, I know. Don't know how to feel about the damage over time weapons. They do some nice extra flat damage, but it's a little weird to use. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Giving gifts. Press R next to a stationed guard to give them a gift. Notable as well that you can only give gifts to your guards, apparently. Very, very interesting. Bayo Can saying Unicorn Overlord, Dragon's Dogma 2, Shadow of the Earth Tree Expansion, Boy, we're eating good this year. Don't forget Final Fantasy VII Rebirth as well. Holy shit. FF7 Rebirth is going to be insane. Alright, so we can go back here. Cool that there's just a bunch of islands you can go to. Urn of Hallowed Cornash, very nice. Divine Shards times two. Do a vitality. Ooh, He's nice. Beaten, so basically, these islands are just little explorable areas that you can go them. to and get some bonus rewards. As a nice little, like, hey, you did good for upgrading a town. Very nice. People were saying to go back to the starting island, too. We'll try that. Maybe there's already a ship there? I figured we would have to make deliveries, but maybe not. So far, this game is amazing. If a remake of March of the Black Queen is made, it has to be like this. Oh, for sure. Yeah, no doubt about that. Alright, let's go back. Oh, wait, no. Uh, I want to recruit that Griffin Knight. Wait, what? I've heard much about your Liberation Army, young man. Here, use this well. Oh, nice! I completely missed these before. You have to pay such close attention to different things you might be able to interact with. Wild. When we first found out the demo was seven hours, I thought it was more than enough. Now I know it's not even close to being enough. Oh, for sure. Also getting Refantasio. Oh, that's true, yeah. Hmm. We could unlock a unit, but I want the Gryphon Knight. Cool that it shows you how many of them are available, too. You're going to have so many options for customizing your army early. Love it. Caroline the Griffin Knight. Awesome. Uh, you're going to be a go-getter who deals a lot of damage. Your color is going to be white with... Oh, it's changing her hair. Red hair. Uh, accent color, copper armor, star iron armor, gold armor. Gold, for sure. Uh, can we do gold for the griffin as well? No. Well, we can do yellow. There we go. I guess. And then an apathetic. Hell yeah. Caroline, welcome to the party, my friend. Aiden, uh, so you can in. Why do you all forget them? Listen, listen, listen. I'm not... I'm not forgetting them, all right? There's just too many games to list that are coming out. Just don't expect too much. Just don't expect too much. Caroline, I expect a lot. Excuse you. Alright, let's add her to the squad somewhere. Hmm. The question is where? I'm not too set on having Travis here right now, to be perfectly honest with you. Okay. Now, Caroline has high swing, prioritizes cavalry, attack of row of enemies, cavalry targets cannot guard against this attack, notably, plus 50% potency versus cavalry targets. Okay. And then wing rest. Own HP is less than 100%. I mean, yeah. Recovered HP doubles if afflicted. Wow. That's insane. Uh, that said... I do... Let's actually give her the Warrior's Medallion. Um, I think I want to change the priority on this. T 
target the row with the most combatants. Because that way she's hitting the most stuff possible every time. Prioritize flying, and then if there's no prioritized flying, let's go with... The lowest HP. And then, yeah, pretty much always use Active Eye, or uh, Eagle Eye. Target the lowest HP. If there isn't anyone with the lowest HP, prioritize casters. Cool. All right. Nice. Still playing Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, too? That's fair. That's fair. Flying unit, that girl needs to be the leader. Flying in Ogre Battle is wild. That's fair. That's fair. I'm not super worried about getting extra Valor points, so yeah, let's actually make her the leader. That's a very fair point, Fluff. Cool. Alright, so what do we have over here? Oh, wait! This is the Angel Girl! Hmm. Judging by the crest emblazoned on her shield, I expect she is an angel of the Palavian Orthodoxy. Hello. We don't recruit her right off the bat, right? That'd be way too sick. An angel here in Cornea. I dare say that's a rare sight. The orthodoxy reveres them as an extension of the Heavenly Father himself, my prince. Do try to keep your composure. <laughs> what manner of men stand before me? I am the Knight Joseph, faithful retainer of the Royal House of Cornea. Beside me is the very commander of the Liberation Army, none but the great Prince Alain. The Liberation, you say? And I'm well aware of you, Sir Joseph. Word of your exploits has long since reached my homeland. My name is Oclis, Heaven's Wing Knight of the Palavian Orthodoxy. Swords of the Liberation. I would request a kindness from you if you can spare the time. By order of His Holiness Pontifex Arant, I've been tasked with amassing luminous gemstones. Ah. Those that I've unearthed, I entrusted to an old friend, a safe pair of hands who works as a cleric for the Orthodoxy. At least, it was safe. The church she shepherds, Ronmore, has been seized by a pack of brigands called the Black Talons. I turn my huh. face for one ungodly moment and look what happens! <laughs> oh, I love her personality already. Apologies. Such a profane outburst ill befits one of my <laughs> angelic stature. Oh, I love her already. Regrettably, my host alone is far lacking the numbers I'd need to mount an adequate rescue. So the Black Talons continue their treachery, even without Gamel among them to chart the course. It seems this cleric is damned without our aid. We should help however we're able. Oh, we're doing this, absolutely. My countless thanks, Prince Elaine. It's as though the Father himself delivered you to me. Killer in brutal fashion, Tom. Angels are against necromancy. They must be eliminated. Okay, but hear me out, though. What if our necromancy was sanctified by the church itself cleared in every fashion and then we raised necromantic angels hmm hmm that's what i thought no one can deny how badass that would be rondemont church lies east of here simply follow the riverbank to find it naturally i am yours to command in the battle ahead let's go hell yeah Okay. Fuck yeah, dude. No question. How much time? An hour and 20? Absolutely. Cat? Wait. Is it soldiers? Found her yet? Afraid not. Nobody's seen so much as they have, this so-called aged witch. Oh, so okay. Two very good characters here that we can get. Then we'll just have to keep looking. Round up every witch in the village if you have to. Okay.
Hi, Legs. Hi, everyone. Hello, Wise Wind. Okay. Why is there a cat here? I'm assuming... Oh, wait, no. The cat is Yana. It's not every day you get stared down by a cat. Yep, there she is. <laughs> ah! Hmm. You don't look like any Zenoirans I've ever seen. We're not, actually. And who might you be? I'm Yana, a witch from the Marshland Hamlet ahead. Did I hear that correctly? You say your name is Yana. All right, let's see how accurate I got her your voice. Your garb is unmistakable, but your name makes matters all the more certain. <laughs> yeah, Hodrick? You dress like a hoe, but I know your reputation. <laughs> you must be a descendant of the old court sorceress, the great and noble Yana, who served under Queen Elenia's grandfather. Oh... Oh, that is a very interesting story implication. Descendant of the old court sorceress. So you remember the witch that was fighting with us in the prologue, who we know turns against us, wears the heavy armor, has a big mace? Yana's mom? Confirmed MILF status? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, man. Don't judge, I'm just saying. Yes, I'm her granddaughter. Such knowledge brings my heart great joy. I was only but a child when I knew her, yet she left a lasting warmth few can match. I never expected to come across one of her lineage in a place as Hold up! bleak and desolate as this. What kind of lasting warmth are we talking about here, Hodrick? Hodrick? Hmm? Tell us about this lasting warmth, why don't you? Exquisite detail? The people demand to know. I'm out here with my notepad. I'm gonna be writing an exclusive story about this one. Tom, don't you Tom me, Mr. Canadia! <laughs> Ayo! <laughs> Just a man of culture, exactly, exactly. This is <laughs> Hodrick swore and she was casting heat metal on his armor, absolutely. <laughs> calm down? Don't you tell me to calm down, mister. <laughs> oh, man. All right, this is a good scene. This is a good scene already. If I may, we caught wind of Zenoiran soldiers discussing their fruitless search for an old witch. That would be our elder, yes. We magicked her away somewhere safe in hopes of eluding their gaze. But those dogs still bear down on the hamlet, using their hunt as an excuse to tear its walls apart, <laughs> board by board. Showing up to court like it's the club. <laughs> Woo! A distressing tale indeed. Though the final act is yet to be written. Please. Help us break free of their bloodied fangs. You needn't so much as ask. We'll do what we must to bring an end to these abuses. Man, you go south and you just get hit with back-to-back -back quests to get new characters, huh? We're gonna help out, um, Oclis first. And then we'll hit up Yana. I have to read the archive, too. I keep forgetting about it. Oh, this is a main quest. Interesting. These are beaten. Oh, Lord! Souls. Speedy man! Jesus Christ, go over here, bud. Ride with them. Yoikies! Give me that. Zoom! Alright. Let's do this. When the Blacktown Bandits strike at Rondemont Church, Liberation joins forces with Oclis and Angel of the Orthodoxy's Heaven Swing Knights to free the Holy Site from the Bandits' clutches. You goddamn know we do. Sounds awfully like Brianna Knickerbocker. Maybe. Go even further down this path for a very nice surprise. Oh, uh, after this, I guess. From knocking on our door. What say we cut out of here before the father sends us straight to hell? Doesn't feel right raiding a church. We go when I say we go. Mandarin. Get back to work. Those crystals aren't gonna find themselves. I, boss. But what if the angel comes back? And what if she does? 
Murder broad my arrows will bring him down all the same. <laughs> you dare draw your bowstring at Lady O'Please? The father's angels are akin to Oh, Sharon, our hands. cleric. <laughs> well, I'm sure he won't mind missing a finger or two. Well, why don't you give him one of your little prayers if you're that worried? Okay, I'm just jotting down some quick notes. Uh, so south thus far, I said north for wizards, west for rangers from the starting zone. South for what? Barbarians? Or uh, no, gladiators. Uh, winged knights or whatever they are. Angels. And witches thus far, as well as clerics, presumably. Kind of insane. South is the way to go. Although getting wizards first is pretty boss. How long till the Black Town are replaced by the current Big Bad? Good question. Pretty nice line, true. Sounds like Mercer. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> oh, Dre found his waifu. Back to back waifus, yeah, seriously. The archers on the opposite shore will likely pose quite the nuisance. Might you mind dispatching them for us, oh please? Not at all. God, what was... Yeah. Simply say the word and it shall be done. And Sharon, I'll have you freed soon enough. Alright. What do we have going on here? So... What does Oclise have? Kevin has warding slash and arrow cover, of course, because Oclise needs cover from arrows. Long thrust and first aid on Jesse here, and then Oclise. Okay, we've seen these before in the pre-release material. I did talk about these. Spiral sword. Attack a single enemy, inflicts evasion minus 20, and grants the user plus 20 evasion, and pretty good damage as well. And then accelerate. Activates after an enemy attacks with an active skill. Grants the user plus 20 initiative and plus 30 accuracy. And it, it stacks. Interesting. Notably as well, hello, 2 AP and 2 PP. First time we've seen both on one unit before. Very, very interesting. Angel Knights are neat, like check her level up skill list. Oh, for sure, for sure. We're going to look at everything she's got. Heaven's Wing Sword, plus 10 accuracy and evasion. Nice. Plus 16 physical attack. Heaven's Wing Shield, Physical Defense 5, Guard Rate 20%, Efficiency plus 25%, and then Accuracy and Evasion plus 10. So, like, yeah, Archer's guaranteed to be able to, like, hit Thieves and stuff like that, but just Feather Swords? <laughs> like, hello? Should you put Kevin in front of Oakley's for that arrow cover to actually work on her? Uh, I don't think so, no. Activates before an ally is hit by a ranged physical attack. Doesn't matter. Skills, Shield Smite, level 10. Attack a single enemy, inflicts defense minus 20%, and grants the user plus 20% defense. Nice. And good damage. Notably, she also can go to at least level 30, so maybe no promotions for Feather Swords? Hmm. Hone Slash, 70 damage. Hit count times 3, though. Uses 2 PP. Attack a single enemy, become a true strike if the user is buffed. Which, I mean, with Accelerate, that's pretty good synergy. Hmm. Diurnal Guard activates before being hit by a physical attack. Block an enemy attack with a medium guard. Grants the user plus one PP during the day. God damn. Interesting. I think she's pre-promoted. Seems like an advanced class. Maybe. The question would be, what's the previous class then? Because, like, we only know of Feather Swords and Feather Bows. So unless bows promote into swords, which would be odd. And then discharge. Attack or activates before attacking with an active skill. Consumes all of the user's buffs and increases attack power for one attack. The number of consumed buffs times 15%. Interesting. Ooh, I do like stuff that eats existing effects for instantaneous effects. Day night cycles too, yeesh systems on systems. Yeah, we knew about that because of the werewolf enemies. Or well units that you can get. Previous classes, Ignite? You know, maybe. 
It's like the Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic cards, and it's like, like it's, if it's a Magic card, it's like a 0-3 egg that you can like tap three mana and like flip it into some sort of dragon or something like that. Very cool. And the haste support skill, negate an ally. Oh, negate an ally's battle wait time. Meaning, meaning if they get stunned, maybe? Agility, evasion, tank rogue, C kind of German? <laughs> Certainly seems like it. Very interesting. Okay, well, uh, what do we have going on here? We've got the watchtower that we're going to send her after. We've got some thieves that she should absolutely be capable of cutting her way through. We've got Mandarin, who's summoning reinforcements. Alright. So there's one item over here we'll send Joseph over to get. We've got three Valor points. So, Joseph, you're going to the right. We're also getting Caroline. She's going to go north with Oaklees. Er, and then... Aush is going to go and intercept over here. I'll not fail you. I want to make sure we're using the road wherever possible for maximum speed. Awaiting your command. And then back. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, As you wish. Whatever. Uh -huh. Okay. You are going sure. to come over here. With Oush. Yes, I concur. I stand ready. And then Oclis is depart. going to go up towards the item. Done. It seems I'm a lot make of thieves coming towards you us. You. Now, the thing is, we I'm want listening. to fight outside the range of the tower, so we want Caroline to be in front. We shall make proper use of this. Ooh, 3,000 war funds, nice. You can kind of check classes in the library. Yeah, I have to do that. If you lose a fight, you get knocked back and have a wait timer, it negates that. Okay, that's what I was thinking, yeah. Are there all race classes, or each race has their own classes? It seems like each race has had their own classes, but this is our first non-human, like, unit that we've seen, so... More like a sword saint slash swashbuckler. Okay. I made it. This should be it. All right, Caroline. Let's get this over with. I mean, that's looking pretty good. Caroline's only level two, wow, look at and yet that. she just crushed that man. Oh, mama! All right. You'll not be disappointed. I take to the skies. Why is a thief moving so slowly? Jeez. Do I have to? Yes, you have to. Screw your evasion, high offense class. Oh, yeah. Alright, fair enough. Still very good damage, though. That wasn't so bad. If you're gonna bring a Griffin Knight, you gotta have a shield to protect her, paired her with Lex, because uh, he has the archer block. I mean, if you're gonna have them fighting archers, sure. But you don't necessarily need to do that either. What do you need? Yes, I concur. Uh huh. Let's if just have her to... rest really quick. We'll wait for Oclis to take out the tower. Hmm. Killing yes, tonic I'll S. Okay. It. Now, what are the reinforcements that they're spawning? <whistles> Four archers. Okay. That's gonna be a Joseph maneuver right there. 
it's bold of you to stand against me. Feels the game, uh, that game lacks difficulty. Feels too easy if concerns will be boring from the tactics perspective. Where's the challenge? Uh, or what difficulty are you playing on? Because uh, on Expert, there's been a couple of stages that have absolutely been pretty difficult that we've had to readjust our strategies to deal with. Um, it's a matter of learning how to best use your strategies, honestly. All right, ouch. Taking the hits. There we go. Well done, Bruno. I hope you saw that. Did you see that, mother? <laughs> God damn it, ouch. What would you ask? Mother. Very well. I'm listening. I'll see what I can do. What do you need? Yes, I concur. Okay. Blasphemous fool. See you, boys. No, what a joke. I like that she still accelerates even if she got uh, guarded. That's cool. As it was written. May the father watch over us. Just watching you right now? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so... We had a couple of stages that had some challenge, for sure. Um, but then, because I figured out so much about the game's systems, it's definitely been more manageable. But I also know strategy games pretty well. So, other people what maybe won't have as angel. easy of, an, of a time, you know? Shall be done. Awaiting your command. This is another triple soldier squad yet yeah, is all right. Uh -huh. I'll make my mark. Of course. Oh, so these guys are like patrolling. That's kind of cool actually. Come. Ouch is Norman Bates. Uh. <laughs> Mother Team. Now, see, the issue is they've kind of maxed out how much XP they're going to get. So, realistically, I should switch this squad around so that lower level units are with Joseph, but, you know, that can come later. I'm listening. Yes, I concur. Gaze upon the face of your demise. Shame you can't claim the archery tower. Yeah, because it's over the river, right? Have you seen any of the hiring systems yet? We have, Jacob. We've hired two units thus far. A Griffin Knight and a Wizard. If you have any questions, fire away. Ah, uh, I don't think they patrol until you've got rid of the watchtower. So they're moving back to the next one to have cover fire. Okay, that tracks, yeah. That tracks. Now this watchtower we can take. I'll make my mark. I'll see what I can do. I'll not fail you by your word. Oh, hello. Hmm, bandit scouts. Last I heard, the Black Towns were the toughest gang in all of Cornea, but look. Some no-name armies out here giving them a real fight. Fine by me, gives us plenty of time to pick off a few coins while no one's looking. Hmm. So, you're going to go after my base, aren't you? Well, fortunately, we have one unit in reserves. How about I hit something? Plus, Elaine's unit is about to be ready to go with Rolf, so. A divine blessing. When hiring new units, can you customize them or do they come with presets? You can customize. Uh, you cannot name them yourself. There's a big list of preset names you can pick from, but you cannot name them like whatever you want. Like you can't have Fart Sniffer the Griffin Knight or whatever people would like to do because they would say it's funny. Um, but there are a large number of names you can pick from, and then you can completely customize their color scheme, their growth rates, all that type of stuff. Bruno, hi, we just recruited you. All right, there's an empowering draft there. Very nice. Uh, I don't want to take this fight until the watchtower is dealt with. Hmm. 
We're probably gonna use that empowering guys. draft, honestly. What is it? Fine. What are we doing? I'm going. I have arrived. Any who bar my path must perish. Oh, that archer squad is actually getting the attack in on us. Not ideal. Let's see if the empowering draft is enough to finish off the tower. Not quite. Hmm. Wind Fairy's charm. Allied units will not incur assist attacks. Mm, okay. Cool. Okay. Nice. Really? Yes, really. I'll show you in a second. How hard does the game look kind of easy? Uh, the first few missions definitely are because it's largely tutorialization. Ow. Um, but after that, it definitely started to pick up and become more difficult. How embarrassing. You okay? Second stream had me having to restart a few times. Yes. Nothing to fear. Okay, so now these guys are stunned. We're gonna move in. As you wish. Plunder, steal gold from an enemy unit. Oh, you fucker! Can I get that back? Thanks for the chunk of gold there, pal. Don't worry, I won't spend it all in one place. Be seeing you. Yeah, no, don't. Okay, I can always bring him over my way if you want. Valor skill provoke. The provoke skill will draw targets towards the user. The skill's effect will expire if the user's unit is defeated. Okay. Interesting, but we don't have that at the moment. I'm assuming we got our gold back if we kill them. Do you have unique leadership abilities or anything else other than stats you can customize? Uh, not in terms of units that you hire, no. Sweet Christmas, you're still at it? Oh yeah, Vid. Oh yeah. We have another hour of demo game time that left. <laughs> I'll just wait here then. You f Oh, you fuckers. You give me my gold back. Someone's feeling generous. You, uh, no, you come back here right now, Buster. This is not how this is going down. I'll not go easy on you. All right, so these guys are dead. That's a watchtower down. An offering to the heavens. God, we have like no money left because these guys. If I have to. Go. Sure. Uh, we should be rid of this place. Provoke. Oh God. Oh. That all you got? I was expecting a fight today, not a damn picnic. Tis quite unlike them to fall victim to such an obvious taunt, and yet... They no longer heed His Highness's orders, and instead march directly for the one provoking them. I bet they'll snap out of it once we beat the guy in the fort, though. Come on, we gotta hurry! I don't think it's gonna be that easy, Lex. Um, okay. This is interesting. I mean, ten seconds isn't a ton of time. I don't have a choice. Surprised it only took 278 from you, all it took like 2,000 from me. I didn't have that much money left, so. Didn't Lex just say he could use Provoke on the Thieves? He did, yes. Does Lex ever become a good unit, by the way? He's been very good for me. Very, very good. Uh, you get him a couple levels early with all the XP boosts that you can give him. Not just, like, items, like, like consumables, but gear that you can give him that gives XP boosts. And his stats go up decently. And then I gave him the magic sword that you can get in one shot, and he's crushing now. Doing the taunt with mage assists around would be brutal. Yeah, true. You need Valor points to use abilities. Correct. Okay. So we're going to deal damage. We need to kill these guys as fast as possible so we can use the empowering draft. Here we go. They are thieves, so killing them is going to be tough, but we have Rolf, so that's something. 
Don't distract me from my game time. The game time doesn't tick down in menus, my friend. It's all good. Nice. All right, that's one thief down. Would you look at that? I don't like that it knocks them forward, but they do get forced to wait. So like, trade-offs. All right, Joseph, you got to mow through this squad immediately. What if there'll be a big mid-game difficulty spike, like when you have to fight Gavgarian? I expect there probably will be, because the whole first part of the game is just about teaching you, like, how different unit counters work, and building up your army, and all that type of stuff. So once you have all that on lock, and, like, the open world hits and everything, I imagine it's going to get a bit more difficult. Also, uh, Steven Arvola and Martian29 have both subscribed, and Jonathan G. Mann as well. Holy crap. Anyone else that I missed? No, okay. Welcome, guys. Sorry I missed those. I don't get my alerts when I'm streaming anything on the Switch or a console in general because I can't hear my alerts when I'm using the capture card. So my apologies for missing that. I'm glad that you're with us. Hope you're enjoying yourselves. I've not chosen my grave yet. Okay. Oh, and now we've got these soldiers rushing towards them. Yikes. What would you ask? All right. Um, ride like the wind, Bullseye? I'll Become speed? Very well. Mow these guys do down? Etc, etc. Yes, yes, you have to, Caroline. I expect that we're scripted to lose Joseph at some point in the difficulty spikes. I believe that's going to be what happens. Yeah. He's going to like sacrifice himself to protect us or something. All right, well, with the thieves gone, it's going to be way easier to chase these guys down. Hey, we did good. Ooh, Gaze we got there just in time. Any info about New Game Plus or changed after beating the game I once? Wonder about replayability. Uh, we have not heard anything about any post-game New Game Plus, anything like that yet. Intercepted, indeed. Using the feather to move faster was clutch. For the liberation. What would you ask? All right, now we can take this guy out. Look at how fast they are with the feather. Jesus. I like our Gryphonite thus far. She's solid. And again, only level two. We should give her some of the military treaties we have. You did actually do it, Caroline. I'm very proud what of you. It? Take some XP. I'm actually getting better at this. HP and magic defense. Very nice. Cool. All right. Um. If I have to. Caroline, come up here. Hector, that. run this guy down. Be there before you know it. I'll not fail you. All right, we're going to take out this outpost. We're going to garrison probably Ochless there because Joseph is going to have to rest. And then we'll be in a pretty good position. God, so fast. Come. Always the PvP mode post-game. That's true. That's true. Cavalry feel like actual tanks in this game. Really cool. Joseph does. Uh, Clive, more of a glass cannon. <laughs> Glary is the main villain, or is there going to be some FFT-like plot twist where there are demons or other worldly forces that play that's not introduced yet? That's what me and my community are theorizing. Uh, people are thinking either a dragon or an evil unicorn or something like that. Um, that's actually, like, mind-controlling Galarius. I'm betting that that's going to happen. Spawn of the Judge has subscribed as well. Welcome, Spawn of the Judge. Good to have you, my friend. Very, very good to have you. Welcome. Welcome. So looking forward to it. Oh, Griff, the game is phenomenal. You're gonna love it. My man. steed demands rest. What would okay. you ask? You rest up. The might of an you angel. garrison. Shall... I'm listening. You take the tower for now. I'll see so you can provide can support. Been waiting for this. Easy clear. Evil unicorn would be great. I really hope that's the idea. 
Chat was talking about that last night. I think it's a phenomenal idea. Big Bad is Aush's mom. Could you imagine? That'd be really funny. Oh, this random side character. Yeah, his mom that he's always talking about is the Big Bad, actually. Garrison, Garrison. Okay, nice. They turned away as soon as they saw we were going to get the Garrison. That's awesome. Are these guys trying to cross the bridge right now? Or cross the river? I Not quite working for it. them, is it? What now? What is it? All right, you rest up. Joseph is done resting. Awaiting your command. Got these guys holding. We've got an archer squad that Joseph's going to deal own? with. Holy cover fire, though. Hey, uh, boss, liberation's almost here. And they got the Prince of Cornea leading the charge? More like the Prince of Fools. Don't let it get to you. Uh, oh, hello. Hello, Stealth I'm Squad. Goodbye. Well. Very well. Gaze upon the face of your demise. Ouch, his mom is a unicorn. <laughs> okay, range assists. Okay! Jesus Christ! Yeah, that's something you gotta pay attention to. The battle forecast does not account for assists. I mean, at least Clive is an absolute monster. Yet. So he just cleaves right I've through not him. Chosen my grave yet. All right. You'll not be disappointed. Uh, Ochless, you're gonna have to go I take to the south skies. here. Awaiting your. And that means that we're going to garrison so we can get uh, him back up, and then the rest of the team is gonna move. Yeah, don't even think about it, bud. You can fight Joseph. That's fine. I shall hold nothing Goodbye. Back. Just Joseph and Clive is already horrifying. Alright. Does just here does it seem like should we only keep our focus? Does do flying units angel. feel like they Your will slow down when they're flying over terrain, or is it just like a visual thing? Do account assist, but it doesn't show if a unit dies. Right, exactly. Uh-huh. Fine. Alright, we're not actually going to be useful from up here, unfortunately, with uh, our mage unit, so. Oakleese, you keep saying Oakleese. Yeah, sorry. It habit from the pre release stuff. Oakleese. Interesting that even though she's down, you'll not be disappointed. We can fly back in still. That's cool. I stand ready. Use a revival orb. Very nice. What is it? We're gonna flank from the south here going. with Oclise. Aush's squad's not really going to do anything for us up here. Of course. We're going to move out. This bad yep. We'll finish off the tower. Must perish. Tom flyers against archers, really? This is what the game wants you to do on this stage. Attacking Archer with a fire risky gambit. Again, that's what the game wants you to do on this stage. You need to take out the watchtowers with Oclis so you can get everyone else through. I'll 
not. I didn't design it that way. That was the game. You'll not be disappointed. All right. So now we can healing tonic. We've got two stamina left. I think now we just kind of rush. Just is gonna get there first, obviously. Sure. Witness the might of an angel. We'll garrison Your up here at the moment. Done. What is it? Caroline, Fine. you can fly across. Boom. Gaze upon the face of your demise. All right, not quite a kill here yet. Let's get a heal here. Gonna be way less fire than we're taking now, so. Angels versus archers is the fantasy equivalent of suppression of enemy air defenses by ground strike aircraft is what it is. Yup. Not much choice if you want the towers down. Exactly, exactly. Go Clive, go. Boom. Man, Unicorn Overlord's Clive versus Fire Emblem's Clive, big difference. And I say that as someone who likes Fire Emblem's Clive. In my grave yet. Beautiful. Awaiting your command by your word. I've claimed it as our own. I shall hold nothing back. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm listening. Yes, I concur. What are we doing? Be there before you know it. What are you selling? Come. It's an interesting choice. Flying allows them to reach towers easily, but then being weak to archers makes it challenging. Exactly. That's what I like about it. It's like, well, how are you going to deal with this, seeing as how you kind of need to? A trivial undertaking. Beautiful. Now, notably, these guys are out of stamina, so we should be able to run around as and quickly wish. crush them. However, we're also... On our last stamina, so we're going to use one of the smoked nuts here, just to be safe. It's a note I'm going to write as well. Use items liberally. Okay. Just drop these guys while we have the chance. Gaze upon the face of your demise. When you put a soldier in front of the angel, mate can absorb the damages only the spearman can bypass now. Uh, not necessarily. It depends on how the enemy's uh, tactics are set up, but it's been stated multiple times that archers can attack the back row directly. Yeah, Leaf said that. Still think it'd be better with permadeath. Um. Yes. Yes. Specifically, if they added permadeath but had all the other systems that they have in place now where you have options to resurrect a unit uh, during a battle, but kind of do it the way Symphony of War does it, where if you don't resurrect them by the end of the battle, they're gone. Um, and then maybe have a much more limited resource that allows you to bring back selected soldiers. It would still make it so much more important that you actually pay attention to where you're going when and how you're doing it. Because otherwise it's like, yeah, whatever, like, Oclis just got rocked there, but I just used a revival orb on her and it's fine. What if you don't have any revival orbs left? That makes them a much more valuable resource on their own. It makes you think more about where you're going and what you're doing. Items are easy to come by. Fairly easy thus far, honestly. Uh, you find a lot of them just running around the open world, and then you get them for mission objectives and quests as well, so... Found the right balance of the number of characters per unit. When I unlock them with the honor and valor points, I cannot decide if it's better to increase the unit size or unlock a new unit. More often than not, it's more important to increase the unit size because you're staggered in how often you can deploy units anyway. So better to have a few units with as many individual soldiers as possible that you can deploy early than having a bunch of smaller units that are going to get crushed by superior numbers if you're not careful. Can they shoot a unit that's directly behind another unit? As far as we know, yes. All right, so we're going to have a reinforcement unit coming out next. 
We have valor points though, so I have a plan. Made it. Okay. I'll make my mark. Blaze. Damage all enemy to units in range with a column of flame. Cannot break traps. So let's see how this works. Okay, so they're gonna start taking damage. Yep. What would you ask? Joseph's gonna rest while we get everyone in position. If I have to. Sure. Okay, so because it's a terrain effect, that does not in fact no holding back affect the boss. Understood. Okay. You'd best make this count. Conspiracy stop cavalry, yes. Permadeath yeah. stops you from throwing bodies in tough situations. Exactly. What a joke. Nice. How embarrassing. Well done, team. All foot units take effective damage from cavalry. They do, but spears also deal bonus damage to cavalry. How's that for good? Nice! HP physical attack and magical attack for Hector. Hell yeah. Never stood a chance. Okay, very good. Now, uh, see, I was hoping we'd get enough valor from that kill that we would get back up to two so we can get the bonus XP, but so it goes. Okay. What do you need? Of course. Let's get the party in position. You'll not be dis I depart. Hector, you take the tower so we can get bonus damage on our assist. There, but... What is it? Everyone Fine. move in. Ooh, are we gonna get Joseph up before their it. reinforcements? I'll just wait here. The I think so. No friend to us now. Okay. Awaiting Joseph, go. Command. By your word. Hit him. All right, good. Come. Let me help. That's gonna be a ton of damage, and then we can move in with whoever we want to finish him off. Done. Will there be a training catch-up mechanic where you can lock a unit of barracks and have it gain XP? Uh. Right I got more than enough arrows to go around. That does sound like Mercer. You guys are right, huh? Interesting. Um, you can't put them in a barracks and do it, but there are training stages you can go to, as well as bonus XP books that you can give to units. And if they're under level 10, they get three times the amount of XP from it. Boom. Boom. Be healed. I am with you. Yeah, the boss is sweating right now, Canadian. Absolutely right. Although 55 HP Archer isn't anything to sneeze at either. Flame Arrow, hello. Always check bosses for special abilities. I always forget. Not looking great. I fight in me yet. Beautiful. Alright. Who do we want to get the finisher? Probably Caroline's unit? To. Honestly? I don't have anything that's going to give them like bonus XP or anything, so let's just move I in and finish it. Whoa, well, not you, Joseph! I always forget um, that they'll keep charging. <laughs> let's get this over with. You'd best make this count. This is the map that gave you the most trouble. For some reason, Oclis could not reach the towers where they got their arrow range skills in my playthrough. Interesting. I wonder why. Nice to see the boss have to fight in them. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Very good block. Boom! Caroline with the finisher. Hell yeah. Kids are stronger than they look. So use a swap option so Jar Joseph charging is still okay. So long as the other unit is in range, though. That's the thing. Joseph is so much faster 
that he could wind up just outrunning the other unit that you're trying to get there if you're not careful. Would you look at that? Very good, very good. HP, magical defense, accuracy, and initiative. Nice. Woo! Well done, Caroline. HP, physical attack, accuracy, evasion, and crit rate. There's Hell yeah. And Rolf as well. HP, physical attack, magic defense, and accuracy. Very good. Well, Very good. That. Flame bow. Flame arrow. Nice. Attack a single enemy and inflicts burn. Okay. So, fire squad. <laughs> so, once you have both this and the fire wand that we have on Aush currently, you put any wizard and ranger really together, but say Aush and Rolf together. And then... Rolf would have to have the higher initiative, but you have Rolf hit, like, one of their frontline units with the flame arrow, which inflicts burning. Then you have a tactic set up wherein Aush would use the ability from the wand to target, I don't remember what it's called at the moment, but to target the person who's on fire in the front, and then because they're also already burning, it'll cause an explosion that deals fire damage to the entire enemy squad. Boom! AoE ad clear, baby! That would be tight as hell. Very nice, very, very nice. So Lane could be a squad member, not like Lord Nogre Battle. Correct. Yeah, you don't have to deploy a lane squad at all if you don't want. Mercy, please. Oh. What would the father do? Maybe we can recruit him. I didn't even think about that. You can you just recruit like every enemy general you see who isn't like a story boss? You presume to invoke our creator's name after pillaging a place of his worship? Listen, it's my buddy's sister. Oh my god, this again? Barely holding on, and he's a lifetime short of the coin a healer will cost. This motherfucker is with the thief from before. Absolutely not. Oh no, 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 Mandarin, we know this story. We are well aware of this story, bud. You can't hit us with the same sob story twice. Your buddy already hit us with it. But then this whole coot comes along, saying he'll fork up a hefty price for some of them divine crystal what's it wasn't long after that we caught wind of the mother love they got stashed away here well no ignoring that temptation money for an ailing sister huh that sounds familiar yeah see okay <laughs> a brazen lie spun to spare his heretical neck i loved the thwip sound from the sword coming up i also like that because we did the quest with travis because you didn't have to go do that before this. Elaine calls that out. Very cool. That's a very, very nice tension to detail. Judgment upon this sinner. Set him free or execute him. Well, okay. We can't recruit him. Right? So... I think this man needs to die for the glory of the church, right? I'm just saying, man. All right? Oclis wants to bring him down. We know what happened when we let him go before. Watch, now it's going to be like some <laughs> like bait and switch where he's like actually going to be a good guy later. Nah, he's going down. I don't envy your predicament, but no amount of misfortune can excuse errant barbarism. A just sentence. With the Father's blessing at my wings, this sacred blade shall administer his will. Damn the lot of you. Does he actually die? Do we not see it? Oh, 15 divine shards. Damn. Interesting. What if you let the other guy free without influence this choice? That's a good question. Nothing plot changing yet. Not yet, no. Killed off screen, no execution animatic, no gu guillotine. Yeah, okay? that's a shame. My dear Sharon. There we the go. The of the Liberation told me everything. 
I hear you sought their patronage in the hopes of ensuring my safety. You needn't worry, Lady Ocles. The shards you confided here remain untouched. They actually remain. They're actually touched. They're in my inventory now. We just got them. Fifteen of them. The shards be damned! I placed you firmly in dangerous path without but a thought for your well-being. I am hmm. deeply sorry. Please, you needn't apologize. You think these two are a thing? They got awful close to each other real quick. Maybe in the archive tells more. That's what I was thinking, Raphael. We're going to check that in a second. On the contrary, this matter has cleared the doubts from my mind as though they were morning fog. Spending my days I ship it. <laughs> here in prayer will do not to rid this world of the conflict which plagues it. All right, I'm glad that you all agree, chat, because I'm definitely getting the vibes right now, for sure. Indeed. If I truly wish glory upon the Creator's lands, I must see it made manifest through my own actions. If such is the journey you wish to walk, I will raise no objection. <laughs> oh my god, they're roommates! Jason, you're absolutely correct. <laughs> the decision rests with you, kind prince. Might you grant me the gift of joining the Liberation? I assure you, Elaine, there are few finer healers the land over. I mean, we'll definitely take she a healer. prove a valuable asset. And a reliable friend. Now, are you going to join us, Ocleese? Mm hmm? Of course, refuse. Why? Could you imagine? There, I have to do a run where it's like refuse all offers to join and see just how savagely brutal it gets. Skilled healers such as yourself are ever in high demand. We would gladly count you among our numbers. Oh, what joy! Such a benevolent show of trust will not go unmet. You have it on my word as a servant to the Almighty. <laughs> Okay. I have to check the archive. I have to. I need to see how Warren reporting it is. Okay, Bronze Bangle, Holy Herb, Pelevian Orthodoxy, nice. 15 Renown, very good. Thank you again for accepting me, Prince Elaine. I only hope I can be of some use. Sharon joined. Cleric. Cleric specialized in supporting allies with healing magic. Position them in the back row to have them aid allies from relative safety. The fighter can defend the back row using arrow cover, while the cleric in the back row can safely kill the fighter's wounds. Right. All this progress, yet Scarlet still remains in grave danger. Oh, is this the cutscene of you got everybody? No, that's not possible, because we got Yana, we haven't got Yana yet. All that worrying's gonna kill you one of these days. Let me guess. It's about Scarlet? I couldn't pretend otherwise. You'd sniff out the lie before it scarce passed my lips. It's been some time now since she was abducted, and all I've been able to put forth are vague prayers for her safety. You've done plenty. Look, I know how bad you want her back, but we're gonna need more people if we want a real shot at it. Perhaps, yet the danger to Scarlet grows with each grain passing through the hourglass. Ooh, I like that yeah, saying. Yeah, like that's the healthy way to think about it. Grand Corinne wasn't built in a day, you know. Besides, Renault's the last thing we've got to worry about right now. But we're getting there. You're getting there. Even though you're real good at not seeing it. Just don't try to do this alone. Please. There's only one way we're saving Scarlet. And that's together. But we will save her. I bet my life on it. I like Lex as a character. Like, he's the the kind of up-and-coming, like, plucky rival character, but he's just very genuine. It's nice. Excellent writing. The way they talk is very quotable. Yeah, definitely. Very, very nice. Oh, we have a quest here. Okay. Have you come across any divine shard? Oh, yes! Okay! Let me see how we use these, please. Ah, right. You seek them on behalf of the church, yes? Indeed. And to speak the truth, I intend to leave the Heaven's Wings Knights entirely once I've completed my task. My blade seeks to free those who suffer under Zenoira's reign, and there could be no better place to do so than with the Liberation. Give her a bunch of shards. Get Angel Wife. Let's go. 
Matthias <laughs> think it's less about West East costumes and more thirsty ass virgins not knowing what friendship is. KW. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of people here who have known the touch of a lover, my friend. <laughs> Don't think it's quite so simple as you're putting it, but pop off, I guess. Should you ever happen upon any divine shards, I would appreciate it if you'd let me have them. Take them! Take them all! Join us! Very well, then. I shall hereby open a shop where you can exchange divine shards for sacred items. And the more shards you donate to my cause, the more items I'll be able to offer. Oh, and here. This is helping, or this is for helping me earlier. Hey, three dues of vitality. All right, who wants to have a lot of HP? Oh, and dues of strength. Nice. And protection. Holy, literally, holy. Now then, return to me once you've gathered divine shards. If you please, my shop will always stand open to you. Uh, well, there are options here. Lex is like if Delita never turned traitor. It kind of feels that way, yeah. So we can get stat ups infinitely. Infinite stat ups, by the way. Up to five uses per character, but like still. Uh, Templar weapons, which notably is what Joseph has. Physical defense plus one, guard rate plus five percent on all of them. Just very solid gear. Lapis pendant. Tactics over, or over. Tactics Ogre, Azure Pendant, anyone? Base PP plus one. Interesting. 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 Hmm. Okay. And then do protection, warding, parrying, Templar's bow. Okay. So do you have to get Millennium Scepter? White Cat Ear Hood! <gasps> White mages! Bro, there are some abilities on these items. Holy shit. Gotta spend 30 shards total to the recruiter. Okay, I was wondering how that worked. Grand Barris, guard efficiency plus 50%. Debuff immunity. Immunity. Plus 40% guard rate and 16 defense. Wow. Obviously, we can't get any of this stuff anytime soon, but, like... Does an NPC run the shop after she's recruited? That is an excellent question. I'm assuming probably. Like, I can't imagine. It's like, well, you spent 30 shards, so I'm joining you now. Uh, all that stuff that costs, like, 50 shards or more. Eh. Shame. Give the whole army cat ear hoods peak performance. <laughs> You can toggle info for the cat ear hood. Oh, no, don't worry. We're going to look at all this for sure. Um, Millennium Scepter, 24 magic attack, Trinity Rain, 100 magical potency, 100% hit rate, 3 hit count, trait ranged and charge. Attack all enemies with magic. All! All enemies! Requires 3 action points, but it hits 3 times for 100 damage a tick, or 100 potency a tick. On the entire enemy squad, by the way. User cannot evade or use passive skills while charging, though. We have not seen charge attacks yet. Very, very interesting. Uh, gonna jot down charge attacks. Okay. White Cat Ear Hood. Quick impetus. Four. Count them. Four PP. So it gives plus one base PP, plus ten initiative, five magic defense, activates... Oh. Activates after an ally uses an active skill. Allow an ally to act again. And grants the target plus one AP. Oh. This is endgame stuff. These are ultimate weapons. Yeah, for sure. This game teases future possibilities hot, fast, and early. Get them shards. Oh, yeah. Disgusting. Exactly, Ra Ra. <laughs> Once you recruit, uh, oh please, another angel takes place in the shop. Okay, cool. Figure. Heaven Wyvern reigns. Three physical, three magical, plus six initiative and plus ten max HP, and gives aerial wing. Activates before attacking with an active skill. Makes the user's next attack a true strike and grants the user plus twenty percent attack if the user is at one hundred percent HP. Nice. 
Heaven Steed range. Dynamic Glide gives the same stats as the other one. Evade a single hit. Grants the user plus 20% physical attack. Nice. Thief Evade costs one more PP, but notably, it does give you extra attack, which is pretty dope. Holy Brooch, heal 20% HP when using an active skill, as well as giving defense. Angel Plume, plus 20 initiative! What the fuck? Holy shit, man. Build theory crafting with this game is going to be crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, Tailwind. Activates after using an active skill. Grants a row of allies, plus 10 initiative, and it stacks. Effect is doubled for flying targets, because flyers need more buffs, obviously. Carnelian Pendant. Base, pff, just base AP plus one, sure. Sounds good. Do of Agility. Okay, there is some wild stuff here. Um, we've got 26 shards. Give me... <sighs> Boy. Give me one Templar's Axe. Two Templar's Spears. Two Templar's Swords. And the Lapis Pendant. Wait, what? Oh, this needs ten. Oh, I was reading the in stock of three. Okay, okay, hold on. Uh, so I need to drop one weapon. Uh, Templar Spear. Done. Ship it. We need four more shards, and then we can get Oakley's. Appreciate the assistance. More items will be available when next you shop with me. Oh, interesting. Huh. Okay. 22 minutes left. All right. I kept saying that we're going to check it. Let's check the archive here. Had to make a guide for how to earn slash farm divine shards. You know what? Probably do a whole video just about this shop. Honestly. God, do I start doing more than one video a day? I don't know if I'll be able to. FE stat boosters, you can only use uh, each type five times per unit. Yes, yes. Uh, do we know what the level cap is? At least 50. Because we saw the queen in the tutorial is 48. And we don't know what uh, anything to do with class stat caps yet. Okay, uh, I wanted to see... Oh, God, dragon old characters. Uh... Oh, we can read all of this. And you can see, oh, they've got the FF16 system where you can, like, stack what you're reading. Oh, that's very, very, very good. Ooh. Where you can, like, be like, all right, well, what's the Valmore Rebellion? Okay, in Valmore, who's Valmore? <laughs> like, and you can just stack through everything. This is tight. Man. Lore videos, character videos, like, probably. Man, I still have to edit the cooking video. Jeez. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up with all this. <laughs> Can speedrunners resist calling divine shard routing sharding? Ooh, good question. Start one more battle and let you finish before booting you from the demo. Yes. Yes, I did see people saying that. Um, okay. I want to see... Uh... Where's the guy? Um... There's a lot here. Probably easier to go by character. and Mandarin. Put to the sword! Your real reason for seeking the Divine Shards, ultimately, Ocles and Elaine chose to execute him for his grievous crimes. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Look at all these characters, dude. Wild. There's so many characters. Ah. I mean, I think about playing this game. Not enough time in the day or life left to live. Lol. Fair. Fair. 
best units in the early game, Unicorn Overlord Guide. You guys give, gotta give me a little bit more credit for my titles and everything, come on. <laughs> You're just making it sound like an iced coffee gaming video now. Class registry, there's so much to look at here. Oh, you can see all the animations here. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and you can change the background and everything? Oh, dude. Wait. We've got thumbnail farming, baby. We've got thumbnail farming for days. Great for vid making, yup. Yep, absolutely. <sighs> Gotta continue the Tactics Ogre Reborn tradition, do a Smasher Pass. Oh, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> Crazy amount of polish and weather as well. Oh my god, you're right. <gasps> Bro. <laughs> Vanillaware just cooks, man. They cook like nobody's business. Yeah, because, like, dude, individual unit guides and just do, like... So, all right, hold on. Uh... Yeah. Can you... Yeah! So you can trigger the cuts... Oh, you can trigger the animations while you've got the UI toggled as well. Wait, what did Vid say? Thankful Tom is biting the bullet for a spite having a real-world job and a real-world waifu. <laughs> yep. Gotta find the time where you can, man. This is gonna be huge. This is gonna be absolutely gigantic. Like, I'm gonna spend so much time, like, just saving screenshots of all this stuff and importing it. Oh, why is it not on PC, though? It would be so much easier. Oh... It'd be so much easier if I could just screenshot all this. I guess I technically can. If I, like, maximize the output on, like, OBS rather than saving screenshots and having to import it off the Switch or the PlayStation, because that's such a massive pain in the ass. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, chat. Two seconds. I just... I'm going to take a quick break, use the bathroom, um... Load up on more water, all that type of stuff. We're going to keep on going. Keep on keeping on. Sam Porter Bridges, he knows how it is. I'll be right back. Don't... These are beaten, broken souls, and yet our fortunes ride with them.
Okay, we're back. Like I said, very, very quick. All right. Uh, now, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, items. Let's equip some of the gear we just got. So... We're actually going to give you the recruit's hand axe for now, because you're low level. We're going to give... Rolf the flame bow, and then we're going to swap him to Aush's squad. Elaine is getting a Templar sword for sure. Yeah, definitely. Then Clive does not need the extra XP at this point, so he's going to get a Templar's spear. Albin is going to keep the Crushing Axe for now. That's been quite nice on him. Bruno is going to get a Templar's Axe. Hmm. Oh, with... Wait. Oh, did I take Joseph's sword? Whoops. I will fix that in a second. So... If we have two PP... This... This fire burst... This doesn't remove... The burn from the target, right? So with two PP and Rolf in the squad, see where I'm going with this? Double the explosions, double the fun, methinks. Very interesting. Okay, so. Prioritize. Com or combatant status. Burning. Okay. Now, Bruno is going to get swapped with Rolf. Rolf is going to get put in the back. Prioritize highest HP. Test it easily in mock battles, too? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. We're going to. Surely I can't say PP all that much on stream. Uh, you know? <laughs> you would think. Listen, all these streams already get demonetized because they're all getting copyrighted by uh, Vanillaware for the music, so not much I can do about it. Which means if you want to really help out, directly supporting through Super Chats, joining my YouTube memberships, or my Patreon would be massively helpful because I am going to get absolutely zero monetization off of these VODs. Hopefully at least... Hopefully once the game is out and it's considered released music, there won't be a thing anymore. But yeah, it's happening to me and Coffee Potato, unfortunately. And presumably everyone else streaming the game, but he's the only one I've talked to about it. Um, okay. So now the boys are all set up and ready to go. We have our cleric. Um, we need to give Joseph his sword back. Or a sword back, yep. And we don't have much else. The bronze bangle we'll give to Albin because he does need some extra defense. Um, we're also actually going to swap Albin and Bruno here, because Bruno could use the extra XP from being in this squad. Chloe needs a better spear. We've got to recruit short spear for her. All of our accessories are equipped. I th think that's everything, right? We got everyone equipped now? With all the new stuff that we got? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. 
Put Sharon with the MC and the Griffin Lady? Uh, I could. I don't know that I really need to, though. I'm the director of a history museum, and this will give me more flexibility in future job searches. Oh, that's awesome, Brandon. That's, like, super, super cool. I love museums. I love history. And so does Jane, my um, significant other. So, like, super props to you. That's super cool. Okay. Where do we want to put Sharon? Or do I just wait and make another squad? I think we just wait. Because we will be able to make another squad here soon. Pardon the intrusion, my prince, but would you permit me to visit the cemetery? Due to her advanced age, our head cleric, Mother Lila, asked me to offer prayers to the fallen spirits in her stead. The cemeteries of Cornea. Oh! Are there multiple cemeteries we can go Assign to? Assign no anguish to an empty purse. Holy vid, Batman! Um... <clears throat> one second. You have my deepest thanks, Elaine. The souls of the departed should rest easier now. Oh, and that gives us rapport. Cool. Okay. Uh, Vid with a $20 super chat saying, You have my support, Master Leg Man. Don't spend it all in one place. Thank you for that incredible generosity, dude. That That is awesome. You are too kind. Thank you so much. Um, that's probably going to go to groceries or my student loans. So thank you. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> that's huge. Cemetery, uh, we need more troops. Okay, yes, 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 exactly. You know what I mean. You know what, you know what's going on here, German. Uh, also, apparently I missed it while I was taking a quick break. Ross Person, thank you for subscribing, my friend. Very good to have you. Very, very good to have you. All right, so we can go up to the town. We're not going to yet, though. Thank you, Vid. Seriously, that's huge, dude. All right. Let's expand our units here. Now, who can we hire here? A fighter, a hunter, and another cleric. Okay. Let's get a fighter. Yves! Uh, we hardy and... Hardy and defensive, just super tank. Base color, orange, hair color, black. Ooh, I like the different armor colors on these guys. Very cool. Black iron armor, accent colors, give me orange. Brown is close enough. Or maybe black. Black is also good. Hot blooded. Heading out. Getting out of here. Where should I start? Sounds good. He's going to spend it on more games? Bro, no, I'm not. Well, okay, technically speaking, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth does come out in like six days, seven days, and I am playing that on the channel, so okay, technically. <laughs> is this the demo? Did you get early access? No, this is the demo. This is the demo. Hopefully I'll get early access. Coffee Table and I both want to get early access, but we haven't figured out if we can yet. Cost me more to get less from the movie theater nowadays, and I'd have to put clothes on. I mean, that's fair, man. That's fair. I feel the same way. YouTube is a huge source of entertainment for me, so I feel you. Okay, so now let's get our new fighter. Oh, I forgot we have Travis, who's just not getting used. Whoops. <laughs> That's fine. Vess and Sharon. Done. Um, oh, we have another Templar sword. Hmm. We're gonna go with the recruit short sword so you can get more XP. And then Sharon. Lucky coin. Critical rate plus twenty percent and evasion plus twenty percent. Whoa. Ma'am, you need to give that up and give it to your fighter friend. That's like really good. In fact, that'd be really good on Travis, but we don't have him in this squad at the moment, just for the sake of it. 
Cleric squad to glass cannon. <laughs> the French name pronounced the same as Eve as in Christmas Eve. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Did you re-equip Joseph? I did. I did. All right, let's try a mock battle here. We are going to use... Aush's unit against Joseph's unit, just because they'll have the most HP. I want to see if this works. Oh. Oh, see, that doesn't work because it gives the debuff immunity, right? Okay, we'll try somebody else. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god, Bruno hits really hard! Okay, perhaps that was a poor matchup. Um, let's try something like uh, Aush's unit versus Hector's unit. How about that? Okay, so there's the flame arrow. Now, see, that doesn't work though because. Mm, Well, I have you. I can... This still gets the job done. Not so useless now. Okay, so we don't get the double fire burst. We do not get a double fire burst. That's good to know. So we can put the accessory on somebody else who'll be able to make better use of it. That's very good to know. Also, Lex might not be the best leader of this unit because he does so much damage with the magic attack. So we might switch Lex to Sharon and give them the generic fighter. That'll probably work out better. Uh, only regret with Super Chats is that the filthy parent company takes a cut, but such is life and such is spoils of war. Uh, oh! Canadian actually said what I was going to say. That's why Patreon helps out more. They still take a cut, but Tom gets a much larger portion. Yes! Exactly. Yeah, not, you know, I'm sure the YouTube overlords are listening somewhere, but listen, man, I gotta look out for number one, and that's me. Patreon takes way less of a cut than YouTube does. <laughs> so, yeah, just just tossing that out there into the proverbial wind. Do with that information as you will. Okay. You know what? What leadership abilities does Lex have? Less damage from ranged assists? Yeah, can provide healing assists for allied units. This is Sharon's squad now. Lex, you're just the toady who protects her. Cool. Okay, uh, where to next? We have 17 minutes. Let's see. We're PP to a healer. Maybe? Probably? Arrow cover wouldn't be a bad option for it either. Or, actually, Hodrick, more heavy guard. Done. Easy. See fireball hurlers? I want to dogpile fireball hurlers into a single unit. Hell yeah, dude. Absolutely. As long as they don't get bodied by high initiative enemies, they could definitely do work. How do I get across? Oh, I see. Down and around over here. Oh, wait, we can't cut through here? Really? Huh. Interesting. How? Huh. I thought I'd be able to sneak through over to that item, but I guess not. Oh, right. I wanted to go back to the boat before. Okay. Completely forgot about that. Oh, there is a boat as well. I wonder. Can we just go? We cannot. Okay, so we need to upgrade this. Uh, well, we have the herbs. Are we getting the witch? We're going to, yeah. Um, donate early... For bonus items. So, chat, what do you think? Um, should I start putting out tips videos now? 
Or should I do other, like, things we've learned, unit guides, stuff like that, and then save tips videos for when the full release happens? Because I'm kind of thinking of doing that. Because there'll be more people playing then who are looking for tips videos and won't get buried over the course of the next two weeks. But what do you think? Uh, Station Joseph here. Ship. Here we go. As you command, your highness. Patreon needs donation messages. Uh, people still get that dopamine hit when Tom reads them on stream. That's fair. Okay, so what do we have over here? Cornean Sardine. Divine Shard. Save file carries over, right? It does. Save tips for later. Tips will be great for right when the game drops. Same with farming guides. Wait for release. Things could change. Don't want to misinform people. True, true. Unit guides and builds. Okay, okay. Cool. I'm glad that we're on the same page here then. Chicken Eddie! Bark! Oh, I didn't get it. Interesting. Save tips. Make tips videos. Drop on release. Okay, cool. That's kind of what I was thinking. I'm glad we're in agreement here. Always like to consult with the uh, the council, as it were. How do I get to you? There's like a seahorse emblem over there. Interesting. Fuck! We have to keep chasing it all the way up. Oh, there's an angel over here. A little dingy. This place really brings me back. We used to play here all the time when we were kids, remember? Oh, that's going to be a support conversation with Lex for sure. Ocleese's sister? Maybe. Oh! You can exchange... Okay, there's going to be angels all over the place that you can exchange the divine shards with. Cool. Very cool. Oh, you met the chicken. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Fair enough. New items available. Right, because we unlocked enough. Okay. We need one more, and then we can get Ocleese. So we'll wait for the moment. Oh! It's, it's literally just Ocleese. Okay, she's just following us around. Fair enough. Hello, sir. Oh, what a day. I mean to wallow, but four of my chickens escaped from their coop this morning. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It's only natural that you'd worry about such a thing. We would be glad, or glad to round them up if we have the chance. Okay. Palavia's escaped chickens. There we go. So that's why they just got away before. Another divine shard. Huge. Come here, you. Two chickens remaining. Chicken chaser. Anyone here know Fable? Oi, chicken chaser. No moss, we know where it is. Come here. We would be glad to round up your chickens. Scarlet is dying. Yeah, you know. Chicken chaser quest. Yes, yeah, he German knows. German knows. Uh, competitors, you get, uh, lots, plenty of competitors, you know, learning, teaching videos, we can get, uh, niche on some info based on beta, warn people before release with some info based on demo. That's fair, that's fair. Well, that's why I'm thinking of doing a bunch of, you, like, guides about units and stuff like that, and then save tips for when more people are first playing the game. Golden Egg honors and free meal ticket. Hmm. So we can have a tavern for free, I'm guessing? No, only 11 minutes left in the demo. No, I don't want it to be over. Uh, free meal ticket. Voucher good for one free meal at any dining establishment. Okay. Uh, golden egg. Users earn... Oh. Users unit earns 100% gold. All right. Uh, early Palavia. Four... Extra gold trinket. Yep. 
Nice. Uh, not that it really matters at this point who we equip it on, because we're about to not have access to this group anymore. But... You get it? Nice, Tom. Yeah, man. Best luck with the rest of the demo. Thanks for the great content. Absolutely, Vid. These Thank you for your generosity. Thank you so much for hanging out. And yet our hey, hey, Odd Panda. With them. As sure as the morning dawn, they'll come. <laughs> Scarlet. <laughs> okay, let's get Oclis quick. Uh, by buying a another... No, let's get two dues of strength, actually. This seems to be all the Divine Shards I needed. Here we go. And here, these are for you. Carnelian Pendant, Lapis Pendant, and War Funds. Huge. Okay. 30 shards for Ocles. Uh Also need to do an early unit recruitment guide. So, okay, now here's another question. Recruitment guides. Probably also save those for until the game drops, right? I would imagine. For the same reason that the tips guides should be saved until release. But I can prep them in advance. Feather Sword. Feather Swords can buff themselves and bear a good balance of attack and defense. I wonder if that means that they're recruitable now. Oh, and you can immediately station a guard here, too. Okay. Station... Early... And... Often. But of course. Cool. So we don't know how to get to that other island yet, but that's okay. Plenty of things to learn. And we can station a guard here too. Nice. Here to shop. Come back. Uh, nothing notable in this provisioner armor. You're in the right place. The sanguine blade, the blood sword. Ooh. Uh, when does the time limit thing pop up? After the tutorial and prologue. Attack a single enemy, recover HP equal to 50% of damage dealt. Necromancy, Lifesteal, Bloodsword, Gafgarian, best unit in Final Fantasy Tactics, Sanguine Sword. From. S <coughs> oh, God. From Starting Island. Huge. Can't buy it, but obviously, again, that's fine. How much time do we have? Nine minutes. All right, that's plenty of time. Plenty of time. Let's board a ship. We're going to go to Yana's area, and then we're going to see if we can't get one more battle squeezed in before the demo ends. It is the blood sword. Hell yeah. All right. South. Go, 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 go. Wrong way. We have no time to waste. Then I want to try and do the fight with Morden to kind of wrap it up. Here we go. Corn demands that blade. Oh, you know it. Agrius Oaks is best. Oh, Agrius is excellent, but Gafgarian has always been my favorite ever Captain since I was Belmont, a little kid. Sir. Captain Belmont? No, I know it wasn't Belmont. Is that Gustoi here? Hmm? I take it that means you've unearthed the old hag. Actually, no, sir. We corralled every last crone in the swamp, but none seemed to match the description. Imbecile! What do you expect me to do with a throng of unmagicked octogenarians? Boss is a knight. Good thing we've got a whole bunch of mages. And find her! Well, about that, sir. We've just received word from one of our scouts. It appears as though a band of rebels is converging upon our position. Galerius has fought! What could they possibly want with a place as disgusting as this? I don't know, I think it's pretty cool, dude. I haven't the foggiest I'd live idea, here. sir. 
Shall I send for reinforcements from the Empire? Still going strong? Yes. Nine minutes left in the demo, but we're gonna see if we can squeeze in two battles. This could be just the chance at glory I've always wanted. All the generics have names, it seems like. Taste it. Pretty cool. Are you certain that's not the swamp air, sir? Batiste. The most powerful witch in all the land. And it's but a matter of time until she's ours. Add a hair of rebel squashing to the mix, and you may just find yourself reporting to General Beaumont before long. Nay, I'll not hear another word about reinforcements. We sweep up these horse droppings ourselves. Guy's got confidence, if nothing else. It's a shame I'm about to have a whole lot of fireballs flying directly at his junk. As you can see, the hamlet is divided into two smaller communities, each boasting a bustling little population. By the way, have you noticed the enemies carrying those massive shields? Oh, we know all about hoplites. They might not flinch before a bit of steel, but cast magic their way and they'll crumble at your feet. I'd be glad to prove it, if you'll let me handle them. Witch. Witches excel at casting magic attacks in battle, making them effective against hoplites and other classes with low magic defense. Voice acting is great. All these small characters have so much life thanks to that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm coming, friends. All right. Command post is captured. Defeat Beaumont. Excellent delivery on Mize. I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, also, our first instance of a barricade here. We could make it worth it to make Bruno the leader of a squad then. And I think we might just... Archers... Yeah, they don't have any mages, so there's really no point. I mean... Having Joseph as the squad leader would increase move speed dramatically, but Bruno can just bust through these, so... Oop, not what I meant to do. Come back, Bruno! Oh yeah, we've got... okay. We have Ocleese as well. Uh, boy. How do I want to set this up? Ocleese really wants to be with a fighter. Or with a lane. Do that. Do this. Do... This. Okay, so also, didn't note this until now. Two, four, six, eight, ten... Units slash squads total, it looks like. Very important thing to know. Bruno, easily a good choice for the characters here. Oh, yes, yes, very much, very much. <laughs> cool villain speech, too bad I have testicular torsion prepared today. <laughs> Precisely. Travis still in the closet. Yeah, he's good, but hasn't felt needed. Has not felt needed. All right. Yeah, this feels pretty okay. Four minutes, 58 seconds remaining. Okay, how quickly can we get through this fight? Let's find out. Bruno's gonna go south. My moment has finally Alex is come. gonna go southwest, as is Caroline. I guess. Hmm. 
What is it? Caroline would be good for taking out the tower. Oh, does that tower get cover from this one? <sighs> Rude, if so. But she'll or still should not be too much of an issue, I don't think. I'll show you what a witch can don't worry. I'll make my I'll see what I can do. I'm up. Bruno's actually gonna help clear these guys out first. Sure, sure. What do you need? Oh, of course. Easy mode, easy game. Show me what you got. Let's see what you're keep careful. You Lol, bye. Know how many how many units a squad can max out to yet? Six. Technically, it's how many troops a unit can max max out to if we're gonna follow the game's terminology. But you know what I mean. The free fire burst is so insanely strong. Praise, please. Have I proven myself yet? Okay. Yeah. Now you're going down this way. Easy. Or uh, Bruno, I should say. Ready. Yana. E. Simply, si it'll be done. I'm listening. I'll see what I can do. I'll show you what a witch can do. Don't worry. What do you need? Yes, I concur. Get Bruno's squad in there. You don't stand a chance. Easy. 30 damage passive attack, nutty. Oh yeah, dude. Wizards might be the most busted class in the game thus far. Stand true. Just on pure mechanics. Oh god, drop my controller, no! Hold fast! I didn't realize you could pull up a screen that gives you the status of whatever attack is being used, though. Interesting. Wiz best early class, question mark. Okay. Goodbye, Sarah. Alright, you two. Go over here. see what I can do. Bruno, destroy this. Sure, sure. Uh huh. I guess I'm going. These obstacles will likely prove a hindrance to our advance. Sounds like I'm up then. I'll smash them like they were nothing. Barricades and other obstacles have set durability and can be destroyed by attacking them a certain number of times. Units with a house carl set as their leader can destroy obstacles more quickly due to their leader skill. Oh, wait. I thought that was Bruno's thing. Oh. Well, I fucked that up. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. I'm not sure what this is, Ooh. but it's ours. Concealing cloak. Hello. Yeah. It's literally a ghillie suit. Allied units cannot be detected by enemies for 20 seconds. Uh-huh. Well, isn't that just fascinating? Yes, I concur. Want some of this? Yeah, the game really wants you to go south before it goes north. But getting wizards early is huge. I have you. They don't try using prioritize second row or whatever it's called to deal with wizards. Um, I haven't yet. Largely because I've only had to fight wizards once. And I just used Joseph's squad to cleave through them. Something easy. What is it? Sure. Time. Ah, oh, no. Play time remaining 20 seconds. We're not going to make it to Morden. No. All right. I mean, this is a good fight to end it on. Oh, I want to keep playing. Insane damage. Plus the burn. Yeah, you get your little sting, buddy, but then. Huh? Boom! Oh, regrettable end. 
I hope you saw that. Wizards in this remind me of Brand from League of Legends, of all things. I used to be a Brand main back in the day, like way back, way, way, way back. Back when Brand was like still a brand new character, basically. No pun intended. And uh, hitting an enemy, which would ignite them, and then hitting them with his E, I think it was, that would make them explode and hit everything around them. Hell yeah. Love how bored Caroline sounds? I know, I love that voice for her. Bold of you to stand against me. The fire damage from the like bow shot is really nice too. League, you mean 2XKO now? That fucking name, dude. I saw that. Thankfully, that's not actually League that's called that, but, like, what the fuck is that name? People talk about, like, Unicorn Overlord Triangle Strategy, but no, that is actually, like, the worst name I've ever seen. Careful, you may get burnt. You pressed R and melted the enemy team? Yes. Exactly. I'm glad one person here knows. Really couldn't just call it Fighters of Rune Terror or something. Seriously, yeah, Rune Terror is like a noteworthy name. Have I proven myself yet? All right, so I'll make my mark. You boys yes, need to I fall back. Ready. What's the damage forecast looking like here? Not great. Less than ideal. So we're going to deploy. Team Lex and Sharon. Cover you guys. Do I busting your way through barricades is annoying. Hey, Ice Coffee Gaming is here. Hello, sir. We are, in fact, playing some Unicorn Overlord. Finishing up my first round with the demo. Been really taking our sweet time with it, learning about various mechanics and whatnot. so bad. How you doing? Uh, that's over with. I'll show you what a witch can do. I'm listening. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna let these two fall back. I'll see what I can do. And Prepare have Lex's squad come in and we'll give them magic assistance. Fire squad needs high HP attack requirement to utilize the final passive. Yeah, yeah, definitely, which we do yeah. have them set up for. It's just they're dealing so much damage that they kind of kill the unit sure, in question sure. <laughs> before they can trigger the sub uh, ability. So, kind of interesting. Like you asked, this should be it. <laughs> Empowering draft, that. nice. Feel safe to say this as your time is about to run out, but if you have gotten to a certain spot in the campaign, it would have stopped you regardless of time left. Yes, a few people have pointed that out by now. Is your Chloe popping off? Ah! Uh, haven't really been using her too much, actually. She's good when we do use her, but I haven't felt the need to use her either. Demo's good. I'm good. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, the demo's phenomenal. Absolutely. How are you feeling about the systems and stuff at play? Because there's, like, a lot of mechanical depth that I'm enjoying here. And these guys got chased down. Not what I was looking for. Not that it matters at this point, but... Use some items, mess around with some stuff. Oh, there we go. See? Sometimes the empowering draft makes all the difference. Very useful item to have on hand. Final game's gonna have PFP or PvP? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, our fighter friend is down, however. The magic counter is so gross. We get that generic fighter a little bit more leveled, a little bit sucked. tougher, and this squad is going to wreak unholy havoc. Tactics settings pretty cool as well as rearranging for combat should be pretty deep game long term. Yeah, definitely. Have you played an Ogre Battle style game before? I can keep going after I rest. This is my first time actually personally playing one. Don't Although worry. I've seen Ogre Battle stuff before, so figured I'd ask. I know 
from my knowledge of your stuff, I know you do a lot of Fire Emblem, but I don't know what else you're experienced with. I'll make my mock. Uh, let's res our fighter here. Okay. We marched the Black Queen way back in the day. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Show me what you got. Same fire squad with Hodrick instead of the fighter, it's good. Yeah, definitely. Hodrick is an excellent choice. I just figured I just recruited a generic fighter for the fun of it, so may as well put him at the front of the squad. Stand true! I think the game will have a lot of replayability. Uh I think so. I think so. Because, like, how you go about approaching the campaign and, like, the choices that you make and where to go when and everything will certainly add some replayability. We'll have to see if there's any post-game stuff, like, New Game Plus difficulty things, anything like that. Um, but I can definitely see getting at least two good playthroughs out of it. What do you need? I'm on my way. Hmm. Uh -huh. Team Caroline, can you just nuke this tower quick? I'm up. And then Bruno moved Stand intercept over. if needed. Hmm. Simply say the word. There we go. It'll be done. What magic should I call? I'll lend you my aid. aid. I don't know if we're going to need the healing support, but I'm going to throw it in anyway, just to be safe. I've had quite enough of using Neuron dogs. Leave. Now. I'm here to help. Need evil path? That would be cool, but it definitely does not seem like something that they're intent on doing. Oh, interesting. So freeze just completely prevents action. Inflicts freeze. Okay. I've made it. Hold the phone. Here we go. Frozen characters rendered unable to act, though or remain frozen until they are hit with an attack. So you can just freeze a whole squad perpetually if you have the right setup. That's pretty brutal. Very, very interesting. Okay, freeze, super powerful. So obviously you have to worry about stamina, but still. What's my favorite team comp right now? Probably the burn explosion comp I just got set up. Guide me, oh father. I'll show you what a witch can do. Don't worry, I'm prepared for anything. Yeah, this squad Departing. really needs another damage dealer to be very effective, but. Time limit is a little strange. It's not something that you would normally expect to see, but it feels really good in practice. Sort of Convalaria demo is pretty amazing too, complete with alternate routes. Yes! Which thief combo seems pretty silly. It does, yeah. Yeah, like they just literally can't do anything. Uh, haven't seen anything about weather affecting the way abilities actually play out yet, unfortunately. Me, oh, father. Is that all? Oh, I found something. Units and items that confer debuff immunity as well, set at hard counter or freeze strat as well. No, that's true. Absolutely. You'd have to pay attention to like what units have stuff like that. But as long do as you I do. Have to? Freeze healer, yeah. Meanwhile, this squad just murdering. I love our Griffin Knight, man. 
Hey, we did good. I'm actually getting better at this. I actually did it. Late bosses will probably have debuff immunity. Probably, but even then, having a squad that can deal with, like, small enemy squads, reinforcements, like stuff like if that, still to. very, very good. Fine. Yeah? Sure, sure. Oh, we have another Valor Point. We can deploy our last squad. I don't nice. Have a choice. Didn't quite make it into the tower, but we're going to knock these guys back, and then we can take it. Nice damage. Freeze and dot like poison might be good. That's we true, yeah. Because that. you apply the poison with thief and then freeze afterwards. Mmm. That could be tasty. Uh -huh. I guess I'm going. Jot down. Freeze plus dot build. Okay. Guess it's ours now. Let's get this over with. Now see, with a squad like this, it would be good to have uh, Oclise and Elaine targeting different enemies. So that way at the end, we can come in and finish off a couple of them. Still worked out there because we got the crit, but... Hey, we did good. Well, look at that. Let's actually switch that quick. What is it? So, target highest HP. That should be enough of a change right there. Um. What magic should I grace you with? Goodbye. Beautiful. A victory years in the making. Crazy how good this game looks and it'll age so well thanks to all the cutie. Oh, yeah. Exactly. It'll be because you actually have, like, Departing. a solid, consistent art style, which is exactly what you need. need something? Heading over. God, Bruno sounded like a Terran Marine from StarCraft for a second. Heading else? over. You see that? Okay, so we just have the boss here now on this side. If I have to. Yeah. We don't have a mage uh -huh. handy, so we're just gonna rest. Then we're gonna get these guys going down here. We almost have Alsh ready. There he goes. Here I am. Let's see what you're capable of. The constant witch reinforcements are slightly annoying, but we're getting there. What do you need? Of course. I'll show you. Don't worry. Guide me, oh father. Is that all? Simply say the word. Get our last squad out. I bet I hit something. Bad time. I'm going. Order's complete. I'm listening. All right, so they're going to come up before we can hit them. Slightly concerning. I'll make my mark. Yes, I concur. All right, so we're going to hit the house carls first. To earn some praise. Not terrible, though. Wingsword and Wingbow are just lagoos in this game? Kinda, yeah. Not a bad way of seeing it. Can you control the attack? Ogre Battle, you can have them attack strong, weak leader enemies. Yes! It's something you have to set beforehand with your tactics, but you can set those types of parameters. First PC mod Terran Marines? Hell yeah. Bruno just becomes Tychus. Hell, it's about damn time. 
What do you need? Of course. Show me what you got. Enjoy that. Very nice, very nice. I'm up. Let's immediately rest, see if we can get it in there before the reinforcements come out, just as an experiment. Aush's squad is gonna clean up out here. I never doubted myself. I'm listening. Yes, I concur. Bold of you to stand against me. Beautiful. Did you see that, mother? What do you need? Now fall back. I'll make my mark, of course. So many Listen reinforcements coming out over here, man. I'm prepared for anything. I advance. Guide me open. Is that all? Ooh, How the cover fire. Was hoping that that would not wind help. up happening. But the magical assist. Very nice. Did we say the word in Super oh. Angel voice line? Growing up Catholic, hearing that made me feel like an activated agent, literally triggered. <laughs> Fair. Hey, just getting caught up with the stream today. What are your thoughts on the demo? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. There's so much that we can learn, so much that we can do, especially because you can replay the demo as many times as you want and just have that, like, Quite five early. to seven hours to experiment. So good. Uh, Gonna be a lot to clean. Move. I'm prepared for anything. What should I do now? If I have to. What is it? Okay, we're gonna send sure. these guys over to cover. Did you need me? Departing. I'll show you what a witch can do. I'm on my way. Is that all? What do you need? I thought these guys were resting already. Whoops. What do you want now? I may disappoint. I fear for. Been waiting for this. Ha ha! They got there. Hodrick took a big hit, but they're down. I'm prepared for anything. I advance. Ready. Don't worry. You got orders for me? Yep. Hugo's squad is rested up. No holding back. I'm here. Goodbye, hunters. Not even Beautiful. worth bragging over. Not even worth bragging over. All right. Uh -huh. Caroline's unit can probably chill, but we're going to send them I over to help I'm deal going. with the reinforcements just in case. I'm Whoa. going. Not even a concern. Goodbye. Bet that hurt. Yeah. Probably have them in the sure, sure. watchtower just to be safe. All done. What are we doing? Be there before you know it. About time. Use our healing font to keep them patched up, and away we go. Been waiting for this. Want the bonus points for getting this encampment here. Remember to read boss skills this time. You yes, yes, thank you. You got orders for me? Hmm. Yep. About time. Yep. About time. All right, is Caroline it? is not going to be needed, Five. so she can go back. No holding back. You have magical me. assist. Get the but healing assist. Here we go. I actually like that zero stamina doesn't make units rest right away. It just prevents movement. That way they can just defend themselves. Even though I got to do rest manually all the time. No, I do like that. I just thought that I had already set them to rest. But no, I do like that it's not something that happens immediately. You're gonna... You can audibly hear, in the rear with the gear. <laughs> Dang, SCVs. Oh, yeah. I have played a lot of StarCraft in my time. Of course we won. 
How's time limit at the top of the screen work? It's real time. So whenever you're not, like whenever you're moving, uh, or like, well basically just whenever you're moving, the timer ticks down and it is set to real time. Whenever you're thinking about what move you're gonna do next, in battles, whatever, it pauses. Uh, so battles thus far seem to have been about three to five minutes in terms of the timer. Simply say the word. I'm on my way. You got orders for me? I'm going. I've made it. Get in there, team! In Done. Sec. See you, gentlemen. I've much room to improve. Level for Hodrick. Level for Hector. Nice. So they need to rest. Did you need me? You guys can take Is the that all? Town. I'll show you what a witch can do. And then y'all can go. I'll over make my mark. Here. I'll see what I can do. It's under Zoom. our stewardship now. Ah! Conveyance stone. Wait, does that only teleport? We can use your available valor skills. Yes. Generally. I'm prepared for anything. Uh, so a conveyance stone does what? Teleports the user's unit to a designated allied facility. Nice. Kind of like a discount warp staff, but in this, could be very good. Tele to allied facility. Cool. Reminds me that one time my friend won a match with an SCV rush. Oh yeah, I've seen that a number of times. Warp from FE4, exactly, exactly. I advance. Here we go, team roll out. If I, I guess I, uh huh, sure. What now? You don't stand a yeah, just having a Joseph squad sitting outside of the enemy base, Go clearing up reinforcements and getting XP while you wait for the squad to converge. Pretty solid, as it turns out. There is time yet to clean. You got orders for me? Be there before you know it. Like you okay. simply say the word. Yana, light him up. I'm on my way. Stop those reinforcements. It seems I've arrived. I'm listening. Yes, I concur. Did you need me? Departing. What is it? Fine. What magic should I grace you with? Thought it said convenience store at first. <laughs> I was a turtle player and no one could take me down. Yeah. Check skills, we'll do. Uh, should be able to like so. All right. So I have the normal stuff here. He's got his normal abilities, but he has an Azure Crest Great Shield and a Baroque Spear. Baroque Spear gives five accuracy. Azure Crest Great Shield, 10 physical defense, 30% guard rate, plus 50% guard efficiency, and base PP plus one. So he's gonna be able to heavy cover extra times. And that seems to be a consistent trait of Azure Crest items. Nothing too crazy though, should not be a problem. The art design, I love it, man. He's a beaten as far as stepping stones go, it seems and yet our fortunes fly with them. My beautiful feet. So you're the man responsible for this mess. Give me back my village this instant. My village. Oh, the swamp hides more witches yet. You don't look like the hag I'm after, but I suppose it can't hurt to take you in anyway. My magic is yours. You waste your strength. Don't mock me. You know what I just realized? This might be a promoted fighter with them. These are beaten. Because normal fighters don't have the full face mask. And yet our fortunes fly with them. All right, hold on, Astara. Hold up. I'll show you what a witch can do. No, Astara is a fighter. Huh. That's interesting. I didn't notice the ability to customize what type of helmet they had. Generic fighter? I mean, I guess, but we hired a generic fighter. He's over here. Uh, where are you? 
Oh wait, did I have to pull him? Yeah, right here. This fine gentleman. See how he has the like bucket helm instead of the full face mask helm? But otherwise, they appear to be exactly the same. Curious. Unique unit, just a different skin. Yeah, I guess so. I'm just wondering it. if we can get said skin because I would definitely like it. Let's see what you're capable of. You'd best make this count. I'll lend you my aid. All right, down goes big boss man. Easy peasy. And uh, I mean, we just keep hammering them, right? Is that all? I'll just wait here then. You're fated. Careful. You. What magic should I grace you with? All right, that's the hoplite down. Now it's just the soldier. And that'll be an easy cleanup for literally anyone. Uh -huh. Sure. Need something? Easy. Bold of you to stand Goodbye. against me. Goodbye. Wonder if we can unlock skins. That'd be cool. It would. It would. Just the generic fighter with different design, different forts of different Don't styles sometimes. Okay. Cool. Cool. I like that it's just randomly generated a little bit then. That's nice. How long's the demo? Uh, It's like seven and a half hours ish we're about to be done could you perhaps there's a fourth that is female it? soldiers others the male counterpart don't know if there's a huge difference but i'm guessing not oh uh, okay so see that's going to be interesting then because i want people to be able to pick the gender that they want but only certain classes have both genders and then if someone wants a female soldier i'm gonna have to like track one down just to make it a little bit more challenging i suppose i just want to make sure people get what they want for their hired units pretty good demo oh it's insane one of the best demos I ever played, and like the last time I said that was the Final Fantasy 16 demo, which was also phenomenal. Keep getting sharper. Have I proven myself yet? Oh, and we got the Great Shield. Cool. Nice. Very solid. Thank you both. I never could have restored peace to the Hamlet without your help. And what of your elder? Is she unharmed? Ah, well, perhaps it's better if I just introduce you. You too, Hodrick. Hmm, I would never decline such an honor, my lady. But what reason could you possibly have for asking me to join? You'll see soon enough. Now come along. Hmm, interesting. Tell us, Yana, where is this elder you spoke of? It's just her, right? <laughs> Still haven't caught on. You always were the most naive pup in the litter of my little Hodrick. So, okay, yeah, they do know each that other. name. But nobody calls me that except... Except the court sorceress herself. Oh, okay. Other way around. I had it backwards. Yana is the mom of the most, like, the previous witch. Oh, also, God, I've missed a bunch, again, I've missed a bunch of sub messages. Uh, so, K Black Dragon, Sheldon Lovelace, and Lockdown Games have all subscribed. Welcome, guys. Thank you. As I always say, hope you enjoy your time around here. Hope you're having fun with the content. Uh, and when we're ever doing anything with the uh, capture card, I can't hear my alerts because I have to use a different headset that isn't set up to hear my PC sound. So I don't hear the alerts. So my apologies for being delayed on that. But thank you for joining us. Very much appreciated. She is the MILF. She is. <laughs> no, I won't believe it. When I was a boy, you were already... How should I put this? Decrepit? Old? Antique? Such a form would make it painfully obvious who our village elder truly was, and an awful bother to get around at that. So I crafted a spell to peel back the years and restore my youth, though I dare say it dampened my magic as well. Tis astonishing what miracle sorcery empowers. 
It's one of the most prized techniques my master taught me. And not a feat for the weak of heart, mind you. Now, I'd very much like to resume my duties. And I'd like to do so in service of the liberation. Very cool. Let this old vassal put a young hand toward restoring her homeland. The honor would be ours, Yana. It seems this swamp can offer more than just dreary weather. Very cool. Very, very cool. <laughs> Antique. The real MILF was the wife we met along the way. <laughs> Deneb? Ah, yeah, oh, definitely. The draft of defeat is a bitter one indeed. Oh, you're still alive. Interesting. Captain Beaumont, sir? It's all over, lad. I'll be tarred, feathered, and paraded through the streets like a mustachioed chicken for this. <laughs> I love this guy, man. Sir? Where are you going? I refuse to play their farmstead foul. There's one last haven that may offer us protection. But it's far. So very, very far. Do you have the pluck to make this trek with me? As I breathe and eat, sir, I'll follow you to the ends of the earth and back. Mm, yes, good. Yes. <laughs> then we depart without a moment's delay. This guy's awesome. I'm glad that he's going to show up again later. Remember this day, lad, as our first booted step into the most lucrative trade you can imagine. Still love how Hodrick's face seems like it's a different art style. He's coming out of Darkest Dungeon wandering around this anime world. Yeah, yeah. Did I play 13 Sentinels? I did not. Um, my girlfriend Jane played like the first eight hours of it in one binge session one night and then never touched it again. <laughs> but I watched her play it and it was awesome. Need that spell? Yeah, I hear you. Beaumont lives. Is Den of a possible name, I wonder? Ooh, I'll have to look. Guys of good voice actor? Yeah. Like the shield grip is actually functional? Yeah. Did you notice how when he turned, he actually swapped his stuff? He actually grabbed the shield in his other hand and swapped the spear to his offhand. It was very cool. They become mercenaries then. Yeah, seems like it. I wonder if that means we're going to be able to recruit them at some point. That'd be super dope. Hear me out. Hodrick? Kind of fine. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. After time expires, can you restart? From what I have been told, yes. Oh, whoa. There we go. So we should be told here. Damn, there were a lot of guys in this swamp. Jesus. Leaf brooch. Ooh. 20 renown. Very nice. I place my trust in you, Prince Elaine. Woohoo! Lord and Witch. By using the magic conferral skill on the Lord, the Witch can make the Lord's lean edge skill also deal magic damage. Very nice. We've seen how good that is as well. New game plus on a demo would be hilarious. Oh my god, yeah. Can't wait for this damn game. I know, I know. Yep, there it is. Oh, guys, can we get a round of applause in the chat? for an absolutely stellar demo for what's clearly going to be one of the best games released this year. And that's, like, alongside the fact that we've got Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and Elden Ring Shadows of the Earth Tree coming out. Like, huge, huge dub for Vanillaware here. So insane. Amazing game, great ride, absolutely. Absolutely. Like... Someone said in chat earlier, this demo is like 5% of the main game. And that's true. That's absolutely true. Like, if you look at the world map, there's only one way that I can describe this. And please, apologize. Like, apologies for my French here. But the world map is what we call fuck off huge. <laughs> it's insane. Truly massive. I can only imagine what units, skills, characters, class combinations, units, everything else we're going to see. We got a taste in this demo. 
And we saw what presumably are going to be some pretty powerful late game items up for sale, which gives us a little bit of an idea of things to come. Like the Elden Ring for strategy RPGs, yeah. I think that's a pretty accurate statement, honestly. Game hooked me so hard, I'm already getting salted and cured on the rack, and it's not even out yet. Yep, I hear that. I mean, I would say two and a quarter weeks is probably an appropriate amount of time to be cured before becoming jerky. Think about all the cool characters we get to meet and to come when we travel the vast world. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. J'ai droit dire français parfait mon ami. <laughs> I got a little bit of that. Where's Tenshi to translate when I need him? Can't wait till you start making videos about the demo. Oh, I'm going to. I'm going to tonight. Someone yesterday said that they missed out on the collector's edition, but I just went to the GameStop website and it's up for PS5. Oh, there you go. I got mine off Amazon, so we'll be doing an unboxing video of that for sure. Just arrived, seemed it was good. It was, JP. Very good. Very good. Like, it makes me think of the Triangle Strategy demo, which had so much more to it than I expected. And then this is like four times that. <laughs> Just the taste of the degeneracy of the items and builds have got the gears turning something fierce. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jeff Keighley, I do not see it. Listen, man. We don't need Jeff Keighley to know what game of the year is going to be, all right? Sadly, so didn't see any food in the game. That's true. Um, I'm wondering if you went super focused and just tried to upgrade one town. I guess it would have to be the city where Morden is. Maybe if you tackle Morden early, take him out, get access to the city, and then you could see the food. Maybe. Maybe. So, okay. Now here's the question. Because I need to do my first impressions video. And I think my first impressions video is going to be rolled into just like some of the stuff that we learned about the game. I also kind of want to discuss units and such. But we've already been going for almost four hours. Food is definitely in the city where Morden is. Okay, cool. Tavern's unlocked where Morden is. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking, chat. Here's what I'm thinking. I think for tonight, we're going to call it here. And I'm going to work on my first impressions video and maybe start scripting up some of my other videos. Tomorrow, what we will do uh, is we're going to play the PS5 version. Because I'm off of work. Thank God. For the first time in nine days in a row, I'm off work and should be for the next three days. So tomorrow, once the PS5 demo comes out, we're going to play that. And we're going to blitz through, like we're going to skip cutscenes and stuff like that. And we're going to see what stuff we can discover. Try out different unit combinations, see what other characters we can recruit, see if there's any noticeable graphical differences, performance differences, all that type of stuff. And then, once we do that, depending on how quickly we do it, because I'll probably start pretty early... Like, maybe 10, 11 my time. Maybe 12. Then maybe we'll have a little bit of a discussion about early game units. Like, unit compositions, early game classes, and early game characters. And see where we fall. Because uh, I'm thinking of maybe doing, like, a tier list. Not doing, like, the actual tier list on stream, but, like, I'll jot it down and we'll discuss. Maybe I'll, like, do it in, like, a Word document or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, because then I want to do videos on that topic. So I think that's what we'll do. Sounds like a plan. Let's go PS5 version. We want to see how sharp the graphics are there. That's why I think it's a good idea, right? Because we're going to have a different version of the demo out. We'll be able to start it fresh, maximize our time, try out a bunch of different stuff now that we know what we're doing, and that'll give me time tonight to do my first impressions. Theorize about the plot. Yeah, definitely. We can have all sorts of discussion, for sure. Gotta explore and find units you didn't find on the first go. Exactly, Zenny. Exactly. Yeah, I want to try and push through 
to the end of the demo wherein you like get Scarlet and then you can't do any more. I want to try to get to that tomorrow if possible. Cool. All right, we're going to do that then. Guys, this has been phenomenal. Like, again, I say it all the time. With all of the turn-based strategy RPGs, regular strategy RPGs, everything that's been coming out the last couple of years, your triangle strategies, your symphony of wars, your dark deities, your, tri <laughs> your triangle strategy, we just said that, your tactics over reborns, your unicorn overlords, every, like Dealfield Chronicle, all this different stuff. Dusk Tactics and various other things that Dre, our very own friend of the channel here, is working on, like, Last Spell. There's been so much delicious, gourmet quality tactics strategy food that has been coming out the last four or five years. Hell, put Fel Seal in there. Came out a little bit earlier, but it was like the progenitor of all this, right? It's wild. You know, I remember a time when Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lions was like the most up-to-date, awesome thing. Same thing with Let Us Clean Together for the PSP. And I thought that, that was the best it was ever going to be. And look at us now. It's a damn fine time to be a strategy RPG gamer. <sighs> Very excited. Okay. I'm going to call this one here. Thank you all so much for being here, everyone. Thank you all for your generosity, for people who have super chatted, subscribed, joined on Patreon, not joined as YouTube members, didn't have any of those today. And just for everyone hanging out, chatting away, behaving themselves, and being a very cool community. I appreciate all you guys. I'll catch you bright and early tomorrow. I will schedule the stream tonight once I actually can guarantee that I've got the PS5 version of the demo downloaded. And we're going to keep on keeping on with Unicorn Overlord coverage. Because obviously, floodgates are open just with this demo. Until then, though, my name has been Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Legman. I hope you all have a good night. Stay safe and healthy out there. And remember, be good to each other. Have a good night, everybody. You'll see a video from me very soon. These are beaten, Bye now. Cobalt, thank you for subscribing. And good to have you. Bye! <laughs>